We are live. In effect. Alright, so the one for the brothers of Great Millstone, the branch on the boy. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises down to glory too. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shot by Shem, Rakakadash. Double honor for our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the people of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the people of Great Millstone. You know? Out here again, man, the Wadi Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah will continually push the spirit upon us, man, and continually come out here and prophesy the downfall of this present evil world to push forth the vibration of righteousness back into the earth, man. You see? Because these people are losing, man. These people are losing and they're losing horribly. You know? Go out of brother. You know? And they're losing horribly, man. You see? And we're about to win, man. So we're gonna keep that mindset and continue to stay focused, man. Get in Hebrews the eleven chapter. Let's start at one. Matter of fact, get Romans 10, where it says, uh, faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word. Uh, this is Romans, God, Romans chapter 10 and verse, uh, 11. No, it's like 13, start 13. God, 13. It says, for, for whomsoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right, now Christians use this uh, uh, scripture to say, see, whosoever. No, it ain't talking about whosoever amongst all the world, man. It's talking about whosoever amongst Israel. Get that precept in Joel, the second chapter, real quick. Go ahead, out. This is Joel, chapter 2, and verse uh, 32, it says, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Right, so whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, right? Go ahead. For in Mount Zion, so that's the whosoever is talking to, man. The whosoever in Mount Zion that call upon the name of the Lord. Go ahead. And in Jerusalem shall the remnant, it says, in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, uh -huh. as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. And in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. And the key thing that it said, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. There's a scripture that Paul wrote, and he Excellent. said, he that nameth the name of the Lord, let him depart from iniquity, man. You see? So going back to the Romans 10, right? Go back to that. Uh, Romans chapter 10 and verse 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Uh huh. Oh, yep. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Uh -huh. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear? And how shall they hear without a preacher? What do y'all want to check the screen to? Make sure, you know. Read that again, Bible sure. God. Verse 14, it says, How shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Uh -huh. And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they hear without a preacher, man? You see? My brother also hold Matthew the 24th chapter, man, because the times that we in right now, man, hey, it's time for our faith to flourish, man. Going back to this Hebrews 11 that we're going to read, it spoke about Noah, and it spoke about how he, how he changed his fear. So each and every last one of us should be moving with a sense of urgency, man. Man and woman alike. Everyone that claimed to believe in the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, we should be moving in the spirit of urgency. You see? Look at this place, man. It's outwardly corrupt continually. Each day we wake up is more bullshit, man. Each day we wake up is more uh, 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 abominations being put in our face, man. Here it is. Um, uh, uh, fucking um, uh, Michelle Obama is praising Dwayne Wade's son for being a goddamn fruit cup, man. You see? Praising Dwayne Wade of how great of a father he is. Man, look at this guy, man. He destroyed his son, man. But this world, this society says he's a great father. You see? But that's that's the mindset of these people in here and, and 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 the people who claim to believe, man. You see? We see it on the comment boards, man. We see it, we see it all the time. Brothers was telling me uh, uh, about some guy on Instagram, man, he be teaching all the goddamn time, but saying something against the apostles. Look, see, guys wanna say that they believe in the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, but they moving uh, uh, outside of what the scripture says, man. You know? Here it is, a guy say that uh, the Holy Spirit woke me up. Okay, well, let's let, let's roll with that. That's cool, you know? The Holy Spirit taught you. you. You didn't have to hear it from no man like Paul, right? That's cool, but didn't Paul acknowledge the order that was established here in the scriptures? Right? So it's the same thing, man. So the times we coming in or the times we in now, man, everybody's faith is being proven at this moment, man. And it's going to continue as we move forward. Go ahead, John. Verse, uh, verse 15. And how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written? How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace, 
and bring glad tidings of good things. You know, that's great news. You know, that came out of the mouth of the Lord, man. That's a precept in the book of Isaiah, right? He was, or Isaiah was filled with the Holy Spirit to say that. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the, uh, uh, the good tidings, man. So that's talking about the men of the Lord out on the highways that's teaching these things, right? And these men are underappreciated, man. But us brothers, man, we should know our value in this word, man. You know? Know that the Lord has chosen us as a, as a vessel to push forth his righteousness in this earth, man. Embrace that, man. And don't play with it. Move with a sense of urgency. Everybody else ain't been uh, awoken to this, to the fact that what we know, man. So what you gonna do with that? How you gonna move with that? Go ahead. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who hath believed or report? Uh -huh. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And hearing by the word, man. You see? So here it is. The scriptures give us everything that we need and how to move within the society. But yet everybody want to move according to their own way. They still want to move according to their own desire, man. That shows a lack of faith that's written in the scriptures, man. You see, everybody that's moving outside of the ways you hold about some y'all was man, hey, a great judgment is coming upon them, man. You say what? Go ahead. It's Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, right. that they may add sin to sin. Add and sin to sin, man. Because here it is, man. The Lord has given us everything uh, uh, that we need within this society to comfort us, man. This faith right here, look, he said all, all, our strength is to sit and wait. All we have to do is praise his name, call upon him, man. We'll, we'll walk in the ways of the scriptures and wait patiently for our salvation to come, man. How hard is that, man? That's not hard. That's why we started with these scriptures about faith, man. Because ultimately, faith, it comes down to faith. Do you believe in these words that's written? Right? You got women that say they believe. Do you believe in these words that's written? You got men who are out in the highways and hedges that say they believe. Do you believe in these words that's written, man? Fuck your emotions, how you feel, and what you thought. No, what's written? This is the guideline right here, man. Everybody want to move in how they desire and what I think and feel. Well, what about how the Lord thinks and feels? And we get shamed because what? We neglect ourselves. We neglect ourselves for the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh But people make want to want to say and, and look down on us for that, man. Don't allow motherfuckers to look at you crazy because of that, man. They should be fucking ashamed. Get the rock the 40th chapter. They should be ashamed, man. This is Sirach chapter 40 and verse. Get to the uh, where it says uh, these things. Be not thou ashamed. Done. Might be 41. Okay. Uh, Shalak 41 and verse uh, 16 it says, Therefore, not 41 and uh, Shalak, get, um, get 41 and uh, 16. 16, okay. Uh, Shalak 41 and 16. Therefore, be shame based according to my word, for it is not good to retain all shame faces, neither is it altogether approved in every thing. So these are the things that's going to tell you to be ashamed of, right? Go ahead. Be ashamed before them, before father and mother, uh -huh. and of a lie before a prince and a mighty it man. Said before father and mother. In this society, what, do, what, 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 do, what does the mothers teach? They, the mothers teach their, uh, their daughters to go out and play the field and be whores, man. The scriptures tell you to be ashamed of a whoredom before a father and mother, man. That should be very shameful, right? Here it is, Cardi B is being praised as the woman of the year, right? So we see in this, this society become more uh, um, 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 vile, vile and, 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 and sick every day, man. What's the, uh, what's the Miss, Miss Man name? Biden appointed, Biden appointed the motherfucker. That, that thing, man. Here it is, this motherfucker talking about, yeah, a, a, a child, a, 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 a five-year-old child can decide to change his gender. But yet, this motherfucker, the, the child ain't allowed to buy liquor. The child ain't allowed to drive. You know? The child ain't allowed to do none of these things. The child can't go buy cigarettes, right? But here it is, that, that, that child has a, a, a choice between if it's a boy or a girl. But what happened, I heard a brother say, a brother was like, Man, if you neglect that child for a month and you leave that child, you know, uh, left to himself for a month, they'll come take your child from you. Talk about his child neglect.
but yet you can allow a child to go through a sex change, man, without his parents' consent. You see the madness that's within this society, man? Here it is, that's passed through Congress just like that. But how, how, uh, how long is it, them, it, it takes them to debate but get the stimulus check? How long is it to debate on different things, you know, that's, that, beneficial. that's beneficial so far? But they can, they can pass uh, uh, these, these uh, gay rights real quick, man. You see? But then you got people that love it in the society, man. Here it is, we see this place once again is becoming more outward corrupt, man. We're seeing it become more corrupt and corrupt. But yet, you still moving in that same lackadaisical spirit, man? You not moving in a sense of urgency like, oh shit, if this place is becoming more wicked, what do I need to do? How should I be moving, man? I should be denying myself daily, continually more. Because it's not about me. It doesn't matter what I want or what I desire or what I thought. What does the will of the Lord say? What does the scripture say? And that's what it's about. Go ahead, huh? It's Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. Oh, so like you was eating, huh? Yeah, you know, no, no, go, go. Okay, you can like finish, finish that out and get back to Micah the 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. So, hey, it's time to depart out of this. It's been time to depart, man. All right? If you're hearing this message right now, it's time for you to get the fuck off your ass. It says, awake, awake, O Zion, put on your beautiful garments. Your beautiful garments is the spirit of the Lord, man. Your beautiful garments is the, is the covering of the Lord, which is what these scriptures, man. That's what you want to see in your heart, right? You want your hair to be you are and carrying yourself as a friend to the power, man. That's the time that we're living in. What men are person got you to be, seeing that all these things be dissolved. Why are all these things going to be dissolved? Some of the reasons that the brother just mentioned. Because this place is completely turned out been completely turned into Sodom and Gomorrah, all right? So just like Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed with fire and brimstone, as the prophecy says, modern day Babylon being America is also gonna be destroyed by fire and brimstone, and there's no way to escape that. The book of 2 Kings 16 chapter says, the Lord has sent the plagues, you can send them back. As long as it's right here, uh, uh, it's right here. That's darkness. That's being set for light. Being rewarded, man. All right? Getting damn accolades and all this type of woman of the year for being a damn slut. So the Lord is going to destroy this place, man. In the book of Job, it talks about uh, uh, the land of darkness where there is no order. That's that's this place, man. That's right. That's right. I got one. Yep. Go ahead, This is uh, Jeremiah 13 and 23. Right. It says, can the Ethiopian change his skin? Or the leper is spots, then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. And that's this place right here, man. This place is accustomed to doing evil, man. You can't expect no righteousness out of a devil, man. That's what he's made to do wicked, and that's what this, this devil gonna do, man. Constantly do wicked, man. He ain't gonna do no righteousness, man. So you should want this place to, to end, you know, because the, the wickedness of this place is reaching the heavens, man. So the Lord is mad. We're coming back to destroy this place, man. It ain't no stopping that. Can't nobody stop those prophecies uh, right. from happening. Right. What we've been taught, man, how we've been raised, man, has, has, has been the ways of death, man. You know, I was watching earlier uh, uh, the elder from in London, right? The brother Rahal Yaquam, the elder brother. And uh, he did a lesson based off the uh, statement Elder Yashalama made, man. And it goes, what? Uh, uh, here we stuck in the West and don't know what's best, man. See? Why? Because we have a Western mentality here in this place, man. And even still, waking up to the faith, we still have those tendencies within us, man. That's why it has to be a sense of urgency, man, to, 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 to change that perception, that mindset, man. See, that Western mindset, man, is going to lead you straight to destruction, you see? That's why we have to face back to the East, man. You know? You got something? Go ahead. Right. It's the book of Romans, chapter 12, and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good, 
and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. Going back to the scriptures we read, man. See, faith coming by hearing and hearing by the words. When you hear this word, the word is supposed to change your mindset, the way you think, the way you move, the way you view things, man. You can't say you don't, you can't say you believe without changing your mind, man. You see? You can't be in those same ways, bro. Look, see, here it is, uh, for an example, right? Here it is, Esau and Edom have given uh, 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 power to people who don't even need to be spoken, right? Here it is, there's a platform, uh, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. They got all kind of people saying all kind of shit, man. There's certain people that shouldn't be talking at all. Shut the fuck up. But because of this Western mentality and because of Esau in the, in the serpent ways, all these people feel they got an opinion and a voice. No, man. You see? But anyway, you done with that? Go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's land back with that Romans. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9 and 17. Go back to that. In thy counsel, who hath known, except thou give wisdom, and send thy Holy Spirit from above. For so the ways of them which lived on the earth were reformed, and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee, and were saved through wisdom. So, so there it goes right there. So this is how we're going to go. This is how we're going to transform by applying this wisdom, man. Key word, applying it. That's it. You know, regardless of your emotions, how you feel, and you know, the certain things written in these scriptures, man, that'll make you uncomfortable, yeah. right? Be like, man, bro, but uh, man, that's what's written. See, that's where faith comes in. That's what's written. You know, right. Meaning, that's the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh So, fuck what I thought or what I think or what the situation said. No, man, that's what the Bible says, man. That shows true faith right there, man. You see? Go ahead. Hey, if I can add just to that, that point, that's what Yahweh Shai did, man. Even when Yahweh Shai, when he was uh, uh, about to uh, suffer what he suffered, he, he asked the Heavenly Father, is there any other way? He said, nevertheless, let thy will be done. So that's the mentality we should have, man. You know, certain things make us uncomfortable, but nevertheless, let thy will be done. If this is what's written, this is how it's supposed to move, let it be done, man. There's even a man in the, in the scriptures, all right? He had made an oath. He's like, man, hey, Lord, if you allow us to uh, to get the victory, all right, allow me to get the victory over these uh, heathens. I'm roughly paraphrasing the account, all right? Then I'll sacrifice whatever comes into the city, man. The first thing that comes through the gates of the city. And then what happened, man? He got the victory, right? And the first person that came into the city was his daughter, right? And then what? He had to sacrifice him, and he did it, man. He had to sacrifice. And she willingly did it. That's the key thing, it. too. Yeah. You know, not just on his part, but her part as well, exactly. man. Here it is. She willingly gave her life. She said, Father, you made that oath. You made that agreement. Well, I'm going to honor it because of you, man. Right, right. So that shows the integrity of that woman, too, man. Let thy will be done. <laughs> you know? So she wasn't like, oh, but I ain't, you know, I ain't, I ain't laid with no man. I ain't get married. I ain't have kids. I didn't do, she didn't say none of that. She said, Father, the word that went out your mouth, perform it, man. And she willingly went with that, man. Through faith in Yahweh, why Yahweh shine, man. You know, that's honorable that's, that's as fuck, honorable, man. But that's what our people lack. All right, that's what our pe people lack growing up here in uh, uh, in America, in this Western Hemisphere mentality. They they, they uh, lack honor and they and lack integrity, man. Hey, growing up, we, we lack those things, but coming into right. this truth, we put off the old man and put on the new man. You put off the formal ways and, and put on uh, 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 the Lord's ways, man. Right, and it took time. It ain't just a Process. brother woke up to the faith and it was like, oh, no, man. Brothers been through struggles, man. Brothers been through hardships. Going pain. Yeah, man, you know? So nobody said it's easy. Oh, it. No, you got to fight that flesh, you know? It, it, it was never meant to be easy. Nothing comes, nothing good or worth having comes easily or comes for free, man. All right, we have to give ourselves completely. It says, give yourselves wholly to this truth. That's right. That thy profiting may appear before all, man. All right, not halfway, okay? Not 90%, 110% has to be given to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. His will, let his will be done here. I'm falling into your hands. I trust you with with, with uh, 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 my life, man. I trust that if I follow with, with, with what you're saying, that everything's gonna work out for the good to them that love me. And that's the key thing right there, man. That goes back to faith. Here it is. What we're talking about is what's written, man. Hey, when the Lord came to Abraham, right, and he told him to follow, to uh, to come with him, you know? No, you all good. When the Lord came to Abraham, he said, look, man, hey, leave from your father's house, and I'm going to lead you into this country, and I'm going to give you and your seed. Abraham didn't question it like, well, Lord, which way do I go? Right, right. Oh, well, well, Lord, well, I don't know. It said, it said that it's all in that Hebrews 11, man. It said Abraham left without knowing where he was going, man. So that's an example of what? 
the just shall live by faith and not by sight, man. Because I got full trust that the Lord is going to guide me in a proper way, man. And the same thing with the men that surround me, man. You know? When you hear it, that's why it says, beautiful are the feet of them that preach glad tidings. So you hearing these words of these men, these men are guiding you. These men are out in the highways and hedges, sacrificing their lives, has it in their lives, right? To do what? To give you this message, man. To guide you in the right way. To tell you the right things to do, you know? So what? So in faith, it's like, man, no, I'm like, I, the Lord got me, man. It's been it's been revealed that a lot of people really don't have faith, man. They don't believe in what's written. They don't believe in what we said, right? Go ahead. Hey, give us up everything that he has, man. You know? Hey, the, the Lord, what, what was it? Uh, uh, Barak? Right? Hey, hey, the Lord told him to get up and, and go there, man. He didn't tell him, yeah, you're going to go here. I got this prepared for you. you, you or, 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 oh, hey, his, whole, his whole family went to Haran, and then uh, he departed from his family from there. God, what a, yeah, man. Back to the, to the land again. Yeah, you know, I was just saying, hey, so he didn't have uh, 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 what you call that, that substance there waiting for him, but he went on that promise of, hey, man, I got to forsake everything I have here because the Lord told me this, and the Lord's going to make it good. You know, his journey was increased. That's what I was going to say. You know? It was possible. If, if, if you have faith, you're going to prosper. As long as you have faith, as long as you believe, that goes back to that, you're going to get there. I know you got something, right? But, but, hey, if you have faith, you're going to prosper. That goes back to that, you're going to get there. I know you got something, right? But, but and, and, and that if, as long as we trust in the Lord, everything will be fine. Everything right. is going to be straight. And we have different accounts that shows this man trusting the who is trusting the Lord and was confounded. Who is abiding in his fear and was That's forsaken? It. Who is called upon him and was despised? It's never happened, man. It's Romans. Yeah, you know, so like you. No, you got it. It's Romans 15 and 4, man. You know. And brothers, you know, they know, man, that's one of the most top scriptures I quote, man. The things that are written are written for our learning, man. So any and every situation the word can be applied back to the scriptures. That's where our comfort lies. You see? It's not in our own understanding or our own reasoning. Why? Because there's uncertainty there. The comfort lies into, look, as long as I rely on what's written, we straight, man. We straight. We don't need to see how it's going to play out. No, the scripture said it. We straight. That's all we need, right? But go ahead. Uh, I know you brothers have precepts. I got something real quick. Um, it says uh, Isaiah 55 and 7. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man is stopped. Mm -hmm. And let him return unto the Lord Yahweh, and he will mercy, he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. You know, and then that's it, man. You know, yes, our first man when we first came into this thing, we, we you know we were doing wicked shit, but guess what? We gotta we gotta fight those things, man. Seek the Lord, you know, and uh, uh and lay upon him, man. Uh, the Lord said in, uh, what is it, in Proverbs, the third chapter, it says, lean upon him uh, and not into your own understanding. Roughly pray and praise the scripture, man. You know, and it says in Jeremiah, the sixth chapter, that seek the old path, seek the old ways, man. You know? I grab that. Grab that, man, because that's key. You know? It says the old path, wherein it's the good way. What is that saying, man? What's the old path? It's these scriptures, man. So we can't say we believe in these scriptures, but we still got a Western mentality. We still hold on to uh, 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 the, 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 the power that, that, that Esau or, or the serpent gave, man. You know? Here's Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old path, where is the good way, and walk therein. And walk therein, lead in action, man. So it ain't just about hearing these things, it's about doing these things, man. Living these words, right? Once again, he that nameth the name of Yahweh Shah, let him depart from iniquity, man. You see? Go ahead. And you should find rest for your soul. And they said, we will not walk therein. Right? And that's the rebels of our nation, man. But the point being is that what? Stand in the way, seek the old past, and that's where we find the rest at. You see? That's where the comfort comes. And relying in what? In what's written, man. Once again, you know? So go ahead. This is uh, Job chapter 8 and 8. Wait, did, were you done on that all? God, this is Job yeah. 8 and 8. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, yep. and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. Did I show you, man, the way? That's the good way, man. All right? Those is Bible times. That was back then. Back then, that was the right way. This shit that's going on right now is not the right way. All right? A little boy, okay, changing himself into a girl, and the whole world now calling him a her. 
Call it he and she. Bro, bro, they talking about um. Uh, I had just my brother had posted it. My brother uh posted a little screenshot of a motherfucker. I guess it was on Twitter or something. Uh, motherfucker said um, you need to stop telling your dog good boy or good girl because it's not good to trans dogs. What? <laughs> So the dog came and told you that that he, you, you see what I'm saying? See, and this and this is the society we live in, man. You see, yeah, they, bro, they talking about gay, gay, gay animal. You know the animal set, gender, gender right. neutral for your animal. Right. Come right. on, bro. Come on, man. Well, and you still got people out here moving in their own mentality, man. You see how this how this world has become more more and corrupt, but yet you still moving in your own emotions, in your own feelings. You still dragging your knuckles and thinking it's a game, man. You don't get caught out here with all these fruit cups, man. Go ahead. Yeah, the Lord said that he's going to destroy them that destroy the earth in the book of Revelation. You go into that word destroy, one of the definitions says corrupt. He saw Edom has corrupted this whole entire world and, and the minds of these people, man. They're, ex they're willingly accepting it, man. They're willingly uh, accepting his wicked ass philosophies. Just out, straight out calling a little boy a girl because the nigga got a, a, a weave in his head. All right, and some damn lips, and some lip gloss on. Now everybody's on the comment board saying, "Man, she's so powerful." And being praised for it, right. man. When she's talking to a former, um, you can come through. Talking to a former, um, uh, uh, uh president, um, first lady, man. Because of what? Because she's the son of the What about, what about, um, uh, uh, Dwayne Wade's other son? Why you ain't interviewing him? Because they're pushing the agenda uh, 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 of of me, man. They're pushing that wickedness, and, and, and it's it's cool. It's good. Because your sin, it says that uh, your iniquity has polluted the whole entire earth. Your sins has reached into the heavens. These things have to happen so that the Lord is 100% justified when he makes this place a lake of fire, man. When he rains fire and brimstone upon this world. And everybody else that's co-signing this, uh, this side of my shit, man. Hey, uh, well, just going back to uh, what the brother Mathapian was saying uh, with, with uh, what's his name, Joe Biden's, what is it, the, the health secretary? You know, right. or, or whatever that nigga's name is. You know, she wants to be called a sheep. It. Uh, uh, his name is Rachel Levine, man. and there's, you know, uh, they they just passed that whole bill, basically about how children started from the age of three, they can start taking hormone blockers without without the parents' consent. So you can go up to a little three-year-old and be like, hey, you know, you like playing with these Barbies, you like wearing these dresses. Look, I'm wearing a dress, which which is what they're teaching, right? Within these last few years, we've seen them implement the LGBTQ into the school systems, telling them that it's okay, praising it, uplifting it, and pushing it on your children, right? So not now that they're growing up, learning all this shit, thinking it's cool, and now uh, uh, from the age of three, they can say, yeah, you know what? When I grow up, I do want to be a mom. I do want to be a princess. I want to be this and that. So they can start taking those hormones blockers without the parents consent uh, uh, to, 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 to be able to go in and, and start their transition into so-called woman. Right, and that's sick, man. You see, going back to what I was saying about what? The, the, the people that claim they believe, men and women alike, man. People that claim they believe calling themselves this white. But here it is, here it is, you know, you will be you will be outraged with that what we're we'll talking about. Oh man, that's sick. I can't wait for the Lord to deliver us. Oh, that's sick. But at the same time, you denying the structure that the Lord established here on this earth, man. Here it is, you talking shit against the apostles and elders, but you crying to the Lord, can't wait to get delivered. Yeah, that's how you see what I'm saying? So here it is, you, 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 you crying out for that confusion that's going on, but yet you're causing confusion in this area. You gotta hate abomination, you gotta hate this order as a whole. You can't pick and choose what this order you don't like. You can't say, uh, being a woman, you can't say, uh, well, I can't wait for this and that, but you giving your husband hell. That shit don't add up, man. You see? It, it, it's dumb, man. But see, it's, it's people who call themselves Israelites that move in that mentality. Right. You can't have that mentality. You can't cry out for the abominations of the world, but yet talk shit against the men of the Lord who are out there telling you about this shit, man. So you choosing and picking what you can cry out about. No, man. Right. There, there's a woman crying for the kingdom, but that same woman, uh, uh, she got a man of the Lord, and she get mad if he talking to another woman. Well, don't you know in the kingdom that you so-called call yourself crying for that uh, these uh, that the men of the Lord, the Israelite, that the Israelite Everyone's the period, is going to have uh, multiple um, uh, women, man. It said go back to the former times, right? Look at the uh, uh, the the, uh, the older age, right? Well, in the older times, what it was fully accepted of a uh, of a man having multiple women. Our for well, the the, uh, the ones who the covenant was made with, right? Abraham, he had multiple women. Okay, Jacob, he had multiple women. King David, a man after the Lord's heart, had multiple The wisest king, okay? There's all Gideon, all these different men who the Lord was dealing with, they have multiple women. So you cry out for, for the uh, wickedness of this world, but you're still co-signing what this
this world has taught you as far right. as a man having only one woman. Because that's that Western mentality still within them. Exactly. It goes back to faith, man. That's why we started with faith. Because through faith in the word, it's like, look, okay, I know what I was taught. I know what my feelings, I know how I'm reacting, but the word says this. So now I got to fight those feelings and thoughts. I got to fight that reaction. Because that's the faith. That's the fear in what's written. And if that doesn't happen, it ultimately shows that there's no faith in fear. That's it. You know? Go ahead, on Real quick. This is uh, Proverbs 15 and 9. It says, The way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord, but he loveth them that follow after righteousness. So the way of this world is, is, is wicked, man. And, and so you shouldn't follow after the things of this world, man. You see that this place is wicked, you should be separating yourself from this 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 effeminate society, man. Because that's what they're making. It's an effeminate society. This is a queendom, man. You know what I'm saying? You should be, hey, searching for the kingdom, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's going to be righteousness. You know what I'm saying? Because so, I was watching uh, Henry Hodge Mom before he came to camp as well. Uh, they were making the uh, highways and hedges uh, yesterday, you know? So I was watching them and they was explaining, <laughs> had me rolling, man, because they was talking about, you know, um, they was comparing, you know how we compare uh, 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 guys to attributes like on the game, you know, speed at 99, you know, your power at 83, you know, but here it is, your discernment, your IQ, your awareness is at 14, you know, you know what I'm saying? And those are things that matter, man. So I'm applied to the truth, right? Here it is, you got guys that, that, that say they believe in the word, here it is, they fringes on 99, nigga beard on 83, you know? So he looked good on the outward, but then when you actually go to the fear of the Lord, it's on 22. Yeah, nigga, his discernment, his, the, yeah, his discernment in the spirit. You know, you know what I'm saying? Eight. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, being able to pull a precept, a honey. Right. You know? Being able to apply a precept, zero. Yeah, <laughs> man. And that's these guys. And we, we, we ought not to be like that, man. You see? Our understanding of what's written, man, we got we to gotta apply more and more. You know? Go ahead. Man, I got, oh, you want me to finish that for up? Um, get the precept you got, we'll go back to it. Okay, Con, this is, uh, what you done here, what you have about? Yeah, I had another one real quick. Right Proverbs 14 and 12, there's a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the ways of this world, man, is going to lead to <laughs> death. Man. Hey, we should be following after your hour by shit now and that's what's going to lead us to life, man. No? and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. Now when you go into that, that word superfluity, it means the um the residue or the old remains that's uh left over from yeah the excess uh prior to conversion of the So the old man, those old habits, those old attributes that you have prior to uh, which you get this knowledge, that has to be to the people away, man. Alright? For us to receive that salvation, man, and the scripture's talking about the book of the the last chapter, alright, it talks about the circumcision. It says, um, um, uh, it's, it's like, uh, it's, we have to, uh, we must not be uh, circumcised in our heart, man. We have to become a new creature. So this is Galatians chapter 6. It says circumcision don't avail if anything. Yep, Neither yep. uncircumcision. Right. But it talks about being a new creature, and that's really the point that I want to grab. It's Galatians chapter uh, 6 and verse uh, 15. It says, For in Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, neither circumci circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. Now it's going into uh, uh, physically being circumcised, man. All right? So you can be physically circumcised, all right? And, and But you ain't applying that you are becoming a new creature. It, it, it doesn't avail you anything, man. You know? But if you're, uh, even if you're uncircumcised in the flesh, physically, right? But you apply these precepts, you apply this word, you got to fear the Lord. Then that's what's the word for, man. Us actually applying these scriptures, which these are scriptures that are told this wisdom of Solomon. I uh, was, well, so this wisdom of Solomon, chapter uh, 7, and I'm going to get straight to the point, verse 14. It says, For she is a treasure unto men that never fail, speaking of wisdom, which they that use 
become the friends of the Most High. So they that use wisdom, they that are applying this wisdom, those are the ones that actually become friends of the Most High, man. It says, being commended for the gifts that come from money. So that's the point. We have to apply these words, man. All right, this is what it says in uh, James' first chapter as well. It says, uh, be ye uh, hearers, uh, be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves, man. Right? So we have to hear these things and apply it, man. Yahweh Shai even spoke about the wicked scribes and Pharisees, man. How they draw nigh all right, with their lips, but their hearts are far from him, man. So we want to make sure that we're applying these things that we ain't just like ah shalom or around the brothers acting like everything cool and this and then the third and then we go in our personal lives and we ain't applying nothing all right we ain't doing nothing that uh the scriptures tell us to do man but uh, we got it so you want me to go back uh, to that sirach all right this is back in the sirach chapter 41 in verse uh 16 it says therefore be, be shamefaced according to my word for it is not good to retain all shamefacedness neither is it altogether approved in everything be ashamed of whoredom before father and mother and of a lie before a prince and a mighty man of an offense before lying to one another that's why it says uh lie not one to another saying we have put off the old man of his deeds right he's talking about amongst the brotherhood man you can tell your boss anyway go ahead it says uh verse uh 18 that needs to be established man let's talk about amongst the brotherhood Right? The scripture says, use the world, don't abuse it, man. You know? So shit, you might have to work on a Saturday and you uh, tell your boss a story real quick so I can be out here on the line, man. You know? Yeah. Scripture also says, tell, um, um, uh, how is it worded? Keep the doors from thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom, man. So between you and your woman, you can tell her whatever the hell you want to tell her, man. Right. You know? But amongst this brotherhood, man, you keep it honest and 100. Go ahead. It says, it says that you should be ashamed of that, man. You should be ashamed of lying to your brother. Go ahead. It says, of an offense before a judge and ruler. Of an offense of a judge and ruler, man. The judge and ruler is our Lord Yahweh Shah, man. And he sees all things. The eyes of the Lord is 10,000 times greater than the sun. It says, an abomination unto kings to commit wickedness, man. These are the things we could be that we're supposed to be ashamed of. Is that what the uh, this Western society teach you? No. They tell you, whatever feels good, do it. Yeah. Do as thou wilt, yeah. right? This is what we're pushing, man. This is the vibration we're teaching, man. Standard. And don't let nobody make you ashamed of this, man. Go ahead. If you're ashamed of this, then the Lord's going to be you. ashamed of you. Yeah, he's going to be ashamed of your ass, That's right. man. We out here confessing Yahweh about you. We out here confessing Yahweh Shah. So, Lord Will, he going to go to the heaven. He said it. You say you got that? Real quick. Uh, this is St. Mark chapter 8 and verse 38. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation. This is a fucking adulterous and sinful generation. Why would I be ashamed of our Lord who is pure? Why would I be ashamed of our Lord who is life, who is light? You got women that's ashamed of their role, man. Play your role as a woman. That's a beautiful role according to the scriptures. You know? You got men who, 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 who are ashamed of the fight to them. out here and preach you know? this word, man. Meanwhile, niggas is accepting sodomites. Right. Even niggas is his best friend's a damn dyke. All right. <laughs> so uh, you got a dyke in your crew, but you niggas is tough, man. They got damn young MA in your crew. They all niggas fucking around like y'all tough. Here's the leader of the crew, man. Paint your feet, niggas got tattoos all over, over your face. You ashamed of this word, and you don't deserve this word, man. You don't deserve this truth, man. That's unfucking appreciative. And to be honest, this world don't deserve us, man. And I was sitting there meditating on that, man. You know, that Hebrews 11, what's, it's, it's that Hebrews 11, man. That Hebrews 11, man. You know, it says, of whom the world was not worthy, man. Hey, hey, this place don't deserve us, man. Walk in that mentality, man. We are above all this, man. Look at, look at this filth and this shit, man. Move like that. Walk like that. Move in that urgency in your spirit, man. We are kings in exile, man. Are you not, are you not hastening to be loose from this pit, man? That's what it says in Isaiah. Right. So therefore, what? We should have a, 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 a sense of urgency in our spirit like Noah. You think Noah slapped the day on no. building the ark? Once again, going back to Hebrews 11, man. It's all faith, man. Anyway, go ahead. I got something real fast for you. Uh, where it says, uh, you just mentioned Noah. That's the spirit of the devil. He said that the is not going to work yet, right? This is the Sirach, chapter 44, and verse... It says, Enoch pleased the Lord and was translated, being an example of repentance to all generations. 
Noah was found perfect and righteous in the time of the wrath. In the time of the wrath, he was taken in exchange for the world. This world is not worthy for us. So what is the Lord going to do, man? He's going to destroy these people of this world, man. He's going to destroy this society. He's going to bring down America. He's going to bring. He's going to bring down Esau Edom system, man. He's going to bring all this, all this shit down. He's going to set us up on high, man. Yeah, ransom. Yeah, he's going to set us up, and we're going to uh, uh, rule this world in righteousness, man. He's going to get rid of all the multitudes of, uh, of you people just to come and save us, man. All right. This is scripture in Isaiah where the Lord said, I gave uh, kings for thy ransom, Seba and, and, and Egypt, you know, roughly paraphrasing, you know, lining up there. He gave, man, he took Noah in exchange for the world, man. I just take, take my man. And that's what's going to happen. Just like how the Lord delivered, he delivered Israel in exchange for Egypt. And it's going to be the same thing for America, man. It's going to be the same thing, man. See, I want to be, I want to be a part of, uh, of, of, of that gathering, man. You know, I don't want to be up here. You know, it says, imagine them people, Joe, when it started to rain, man. Come on, man. You Can you imagine the sense? Man, man, you know, yeah, you know, you know how oh. your heart dropped, like yeah, they heart dropped man, out the bro, You know, as soon as, as soon as that water hit that forehead, boop, it was a sense of oh shit. You know, they yeah, that mean yeah. they pause it at this moment. You know, <laughs> just imagine that, man. Imagine that, man. Imagine Noah going to his two sons-in-law, like, hey, hey, and they laughed him off. Yeah, Fuck yeah, out my yeah, face. You know, who did I say? Oh. Lock it. Lot, you know, and then you know, and then uh, and that, see fire that big ass fireball come and destroy their neighbor's house. Like, right. oh, just imagine in that moment, man. That was the joke, though. I don't, I don't want to feel. I don't want to feel. Like, I can meditate and like think, like, oh shit, I don't want to feel that, man. I don't want to be sitting here when the times to come, and I'm watching these brothers get beamed up, and I'm like, and I'm there, bro. Man, that feeling gonna hurt, man. I don't want that feeling, bro. I don't want to see the, the, the chariots coming and the whistles coming and, and, and a chariot fly over me. But no, man. No, man. I don't want that feeling, man. You know? Sirach 44 17, Noah was found perfect and righteous. In the time of wrath, he was taken in exchange for the world. And we finna go through that whole process. It says, as in the days of Lot and as in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. So we finna go through that whole same process, man. The Lord is about to pour his wrath upon this place. And he's only gonna deliver the souls that's pleasing unto him, man. He's only gonna deliver the souls that's moving in the spirit. That's moving in the state. That's calling upon his name. And it continues to say he's only gonna deliver the souls who are who that's pleasing. Going back to that, uh, the, uh, the brother read Enoch said it was an example of repentance. The wisdom of Solomon is spoke. Go ahead. This is wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4 and 10. It says, He pleased the Most High and was beloved of him, so that living among sinners, he was translated. Oh, verse 14, selected. Yeah. For his soul. He was living among sinners, all right? We living among sinners right now, but we not moving like the rest of these people, man. That's what separates us. That's what makes us holy. That's what the Lord taught us to do. He said, what manner of persons ought you to be? Be holy and, uh, uh, and have a godly conversation. Holy means to be separate. Don't live like the rest of these people. Follow yeah. not a multitude to do evil, man. It says, number not your uh, uh, self among sinners. This is uh, Solomon uh, 4 and 14. For his soul pleased the Lord, therefore tasted he to take him away from among the wicked. So we read Matthew 24 and it says what? It says that the, the days shall be shortened for the elect's sake. It's because those elect uh, uh, members, those, those elect of Israel, their soul is pleasing unto the Lord, man. Going back to the Romans 12 that this brother brought up about the renewal of our mind, man. The way we think and how we reason, because uh, uh, thoughts turns into words. Words turns into actions. Actions turns into habits. A wise, a wise man told me that, right? So it all starts in the mind, man. So you want to so you want to change your habits? You need to first do what? Change your actions. In order to change your actions, you gotta change your words. In order to change your words, you gotta change your thoughts, man. You gotta change the way you think. That's why it's important to think according to the scriptures. A woman has a role according to the Bible. A man has a role according to the holy scriptures. That's it, that's it man. You know? That's why it says the truth.
trial of a man is in his reasoning, man. The test, the battle is in your mind, how you want to think. It's, pro it's one in Proverbs, the fourth chapter. It says, keep thy heart with all diligence because out of it are the issues of life, man. So that's what's going to determine our salvation, man. How we move, man, in our head. You know, you hold something? Yeah, real quick. Jeremiah 4 and 4. It says, circumcise yourself to the Lord and take away the foreskin of your heart. And your heart is your mind, man. So you got to cleanse your mind, circumcise your mind. Got to be cleansed from the filthiness that this world has forced us to believe right. in and to think a certain way. From the flesh. Exactly. Because when you go to uh, physical circumcision, right, you take the excess flesh off your rod, off your penis. Well, what is that applying in the spirit? You got to cut off the flesh. The excess flesh in your life, man. So that's what? That's your carnal thoughts. In Romans the 8th chapter, it speaks about what? That the carnal uh, mind is enmity against the most high. So we got to judge these things in the spirit, man. You know? So that's Colossians, the third chapter, says what? Mortify your deeds that are uh, your members that are upon the earth, man. Romans the 6th chapter speaks about uh, yielding your members unto uh, righteousness and not unto sin. And once again, that all starts with the renewal of our heart. But you got it back up. Right. Jeremiah 4 and 4, circumcise yourself to the Lord and take away the foreskin of your heart, ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come forth like fire and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings. So we got to cut ourselves from the evil, man, our evil thoughts, our ways. Uh, words, all of that stuff, man, because like your brother said, hey, it's, that becomes your habit and your character, man. So you got to cut it off, man, right in your mind, man. Cut the, the evil thoughts out, man. Otherwise, it's going to progress, man, and you're going to become that them evil thoughts, you know. So, hey, and so that's what it's all about, man, you know, turn away from our evil things. You know, because shit, a mind, a thing can come into your head, you know, it could just be easily as cut it. You know what I'm saying? Or you don't act on it, man. But that's the that's that's the process of you renewing your mind. Though. You know, it's actually uh, you could think something in your head, but if you don't perform it, man, guess what, man? You, you just cut that in your in your in your head, man. You know, and that that's a, that's the beautiful thing, and that, that's the battle. Man. That's the battle. It says second Israel, I believe, uh, the seventh chapter. It says that this is the battle that every man shall fight upon yeah, earth. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's that's a constant battle. Nobody said it's gonna be easy, man. Nobody says it's gonna be a walk through the park. No, man. You know. Uh, the opposite. It says prepare your soul for temptation if you come to serve the Lord. It says go through the straight gate. That's a path of difficulty. So you, you, we've already been told that it's not going to be easy. It's going to be difficult. And that's how it's supposed to be. Man, said fight the good fight of faith. The fight is not something that's easy, man. All right. You get hit in the fight, man. You get tired in the fight. You get hurt in the fight. That's 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 that's, that's what we experience. The good fight of the fight of faith, man. Okay. So it's not going to be easy. You're going to get hit. You might get knocked down. The scriptures say a just man falleth seven times, but he riseth up again, man. That's what makes a true champion. Someone that can fight through pain. Someone that can get hurt, get knocked down, but get back up and continue to swing. And sacrifice. You know, that's the key thing. Sacrifice, man. See, a lot of a lot of people don't really don't know what the, what sacrifice actually means. You know, it means actually denying yourself, man. Here it is, the brother's going into, uh, you know, uh, the fight analogy, but here it is, in order, these boxers, man, in order to be in the tip-top shape, in order to do, uh, uh, to hone their craft, what do they do, man? They cut off things that's, that's pleasurable to them, man. A lot of them cut off sex, a lot of them cut off different foods that they might uh, enjoy eating, man, you know? And they and they cut off certain things. Well, it's the same thing within this, uh, within this uh, uh, walk of ours, man. Certain things are hindrance in the spirit, you know? So it might be certain desires or certain things or certain thoughts that we might have had or think that's right. And then we come to find out that those things are wrong, man. So how do you move according to that? See, it's all on the altar. That's the faith of Abraham. Everything is on the altar, man. When he put, when he offered Isaac upon that altar, man, that was symbolic of, of, of what? The, the, everything was on the altar, man. The Lord promised Abraham that Isaac and, his, and Isaac shall thou see be called. So basically everything was riding on Isaac, man. And the Lord told him to sacrifice it, man. You see? So that's the same thing with any and everything is on the altar. That's why Paul wrote in uh, Philippians, and he said, I count all things but <coughs> dung that I may gain. He, didn't, he said that I may gain the knowledge of Yahweh Shah. So he was just talking about gaining this understanding. He said, I'll lose anything. I don't give a fuck about it. Only to gain this wisdom, man. 
Because this wisdom brings us to a kingdom which is gonna return everything we lost a hundredfold, man. Do we believe that? That's what we have to ask ourselves. You know? Go ahead. I mean, shit, man. And then uh, the other, it's not for everybody, man. Because uh, what was he? How was shy? Uh, the dude, I forgot. I believe. Uh, I the rich man. The rich man. Yeah, he's like, drop everything you got, give it to the poor, and follow me, man. He says, shit. You know, that's an example of a man that couldn't put up. You know, that couldn't uh, uh, sacrifice, man. You know, he uh, like for example, these needs now. This ain't all the money. You got uh, 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 business, or you got something, you know, valuable here, man. And, you know, that's that's the sacrifice, man. You come to the team. If you lose those things for the Lord, hey, you gotta do. You gotta believe that the Lord's gonna give you that a hundredfold, right. man. You, you have know, to, you have to give up in order to uh, uh to yep. get into the kingdom, right? It talks about the servants that he bid to the marriage, and they all made an excuse about what different possessions that they That's had it. to go attend to, so they couldn't sacrifice the land that he had, or the oxen that he just bought, or the woman that he just married to do the work of the Lord, to be bid into this marriage. So what? Them niggas, them, them niggas ain't gonna get in because they refuse to sacrifice. They refuse to, the Lord said that you, if you lose your life on this side, the same shall find it, man. All right, for my name, if you lose it for my namesake, man. So losing our life doesn't necessarily mean dying. We've already lost our lives. You know what? We've killed our former man. We sacrificed daily. We daily. Yeah, exactly. So daily we it's sacrifice good. in our own, right? It's Saturday, hot as hell, uh, uh, nice as hell out here, man. We out here on the corner, downtown fucking Des Moines, right? Everybody watching us. We could be doing anything, young men. That's just one aspect. Throughout the week, we deny ourselves so we can read. Instead of getting up with Shorty, I gotta read first. Instead of getting up with Shorty, let me get that, make sure we get my lessons. Make sure, make sure I'm meditating and taking heed unto myself and giving heed unto the doctrine and, and, uh, and attendance unto the doctrine and to the, uh, 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 into reading and the exhortation. We're giving up our own pleasures to do this work, to follow Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. He said that the only way you can be my disciple is if you deny yourself. You go into that word deny, it means to lose sight of one own, uh, one own one's own interest. Right. That sacrifice. Okay, I want to do this, but I desire this, all it, right? It ain't about you, man. Exactly. Being able to remove yourself from the equation, man. You know? It ain't, a, it ain't about us, man. Uh, did you finish on that? Uh, go ahead, you got something? Yeah, yeah, real quick. Uh, my son, you still got that moment? Uh, yeah. Kind of, you could uh, read verse 1, Bible was shot. It's going to land back right with this. Kinda. Uh, this is the book of Romans, chapter 12, and verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High. Right. So that's our duty, present ourselves as a sacrifice. Our life, we are a sacrifice, man. Meaning that what? Our lives, different things, whatever the case may be, we have to put our own interests to the side, like the brother explained you to. All right, and serve and do the will of the Alba Shem Yahweh Shah says. This is the whole duty of man to fear the Most High and keep his commandments. So that's what we are here to do, man. All right, we're here to serve the Lord. It says, uh, 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 we're here to please him that has called us to be a soldier, man. All right, we've been called to be uh, uh, soldiers to fight this good fight of faith. Right, but our duty is to please Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, and this is uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of the Most High, and ye are not your own? So there it goes right there. We are not our own, man. It ain't like, I just want to do this. I just want to go through that. No, we have to acknowledge Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai first. Can I do this? Is it acceptable for me to do? I want to do this with my life. Well, who gave you that life? <laughs> and in your spirit, which are the most high. The scripture says, uh, the life that I live in the flesh, I no longer live in the flesh. It's all about what he wants. It's all about what he desires, man. He said he want me out there on the highways and byways. I'm going to go my ass out there on the highways and byways, man. He said he want me to grow my beard out. I'm going to grow my beard out, man. Anything, like, even if it's not connected, even if it's patchy, that's what I'm going to do, all right? I'm going to do whatever he wants me to do to the best of my ability. We're on this earth like me and Pop did the lesson. Why are you here? What is your purpose, man? Your purpose and the reason why you're here isn't to, to uh, 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 do whatever you what, whatever you want, man. Right? That, that, that's a wicked mind frame of do as thou will. That's what Paulus the Crowley, that says the, the mentality of the wicked and wisdom of Solomon. He says that.
has to, uh, uh, to be getting it every way, even by evil means, that our, our, our life is a pastime and a market for gain. That's the that's the worst, and that's the mentality that Esau Edom installed in these niggas. Chase the bag, get rich or die trying. That's not why the Lord sent us on this earth, man. And a man is more than in, in, in his physical substance, okay? You know what Sean said? Mm -hmm. Life is more than meat. Mm -hmm. The body is more than rain. It. But it's a scripture in Ecclesiastes where it said, um, live your life, man. Walk in the light of your yeah, eyes. Yeah, do what you're going to do. But know that at the end, there's a judgment for all that, man. And that's, and that's ultimately what we're saying, you know? There's a judgment for all that. Going back to the brother about uh, what he mentioned, about um, well, what does the Lord want? What does the Lord desire? You got people talking about that. Nobody cares what I want. Nobody cares my desire. But here it is. You don't give a fuck about the Lord's exactly. wants or desires. Hey. So why should anybody care about yours? You ever, you ever reflected on that? You know? Our people have forgotten the Lord days without number, man. Days without number. Not even thinking about the Lord, not considering Him, man. All right? And now, uh, coming into the faith, man, the scripture says, seek Him ten times more, man. You know, so that's the mentality we have to have. And I was thinking, meditating on what the brother was saying. He was, hey, like, the Lord told me to grow out my, grow out my beard, then I'm going to do it, man. All right? Now, we're the Lord's woman. Now, in the book of Genesis, the third chapter, it says that uh, thy desire should be towards thy husband. That's how the woman should be. Her desire is to please her. Uh, her desire should be to please her man. Whatever, please. whatever you like. Exactly, right? But us being the, the Lord's woman, it should be the same exact thing with us, man. Whatever the Lord wants, cool. Hey, that's what it is, man. Hey, Whatever him, pleases him. Yeah, he told do not this abominable thing uh, that I hate. Hey, that's right. You read it at Wisdom of Solomon, the ninth chapter, the last verse, it says that what? That men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee and were saved through wisdom, man. That's right, that's right. You know? And that shows that, uh, that faith. Because that's the mentality that Abraham had, man. All right? Abraham was like, what? Where you want me to go? All right, cool. I'm there. All right, what, you want me to sacrifice my right. son? I'm right. not even going to hesitate. Cool, that's what pleases sure. you. I'm going to do it, man. Sure. What else you want me to do? I'm going to do it. And then when, when, the, uh, when Abraham was going to sacrifice Isaac, man, and the Lord uh, and the Lord stopped him, the Lord said, now I know that thou fearest me, man. Mm -hmm. So he, he you proved didn't, you it. Didn't, you didn't hold back your only son from me, man. That you love, what you would have desired. That's what he desired most, man. And it, and it had me thinking about the example that the brother had, uh, I believe it was your wife and I had brought out earlier. All right, when one of the men, he wanted to uh, follow the Lord. All right, and, and and I believe if that's the same account that I'm thinking about, but he was saying that he kept uh, he kept the certain laws, you know, he honored his father and his mother. Right, he was doing those certain things, but when it came down to really sacrificing, then he couldn't do it, man. Because you got guys out here that they, oh, y'all got my beard and this and that. And that. But when it really comes down to making the sacrifice, to present your body a living sacrifice, right. then they don't care. Exactly. The key thing right there is charity, man. You know? You can't, you can't be no fucking bare minimum Israelite, man. We gotta give our all to this. Uh, deal breaker, like, deal breaker don't make this kind of money, or if you don't do this, then you don't do that, then I'm not gonna then I'm not gonna serve him, or I'm not gonna do this, or I'm not gonna be with him, or I'm gonna break up this and that. And the third, when it comes down to the Lord, it's like man, whatever the Lord say, we following him with us or wherever we go with. Even Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. I maintain my integrity. So it didn't matter the hell that he talked. Job was like, Lord, hey. Hey, if this is this what it is, I'ma still I'ma still serve the Lord, you know? So that's the mentality we have to have of following the land with us so here we go with no matter what we gotta go through, no matter what we suffer, all right? And it says follow the land with us so here we go with it's not like we actually looking at a land and it's like, all right, well the it's land is over It's following the scriptures, there, man. And that's the point. You know, it's following the scriptures, it's coming to buy him with a book. book. You know, in the land back on the part with the brother said, like a woman, she'll say, oh, he gotta be six four, he gotta make six figures. See, that's what the serpent made, man. Option. You know? Right. Yeah, it ain't no option. <laughs> you know, you don't get no option. Right. <laughs> no. It ain't like we you know. <laughs> That's not how it was in our custom. You know, you got you ain't got no choice. What no no. Not in our custom. But it's going back to what? What uh Elder Yashawamba said, man. You know? Stuck in the West and don't know what's best, man. Our people all fucked up. Why? Because it is Western mentality, man. You know, which is the, the importance of getting our our heritage, our history back into our minds, man. You know, you want to say something? Yeah, hey, man, because a lot, a lot of these people out here are entitled, man. They feel like the Lord, like, like life and the Lord owes them something, man. But like the brother said, hey, hey, since it was our kind of going straight from the Lord, now be in return seeking ten times more. 
When you come to the Lord, you understand your fuck ups. You understand all the shit that got us to the point where we're at. Therefore, you atone for your sins, man. We don't deserve shit. The scripture says that we deserve, uh, uh, that we're punished less than our iniquities deserve, man. And, and, and but, but these people, oh, I, 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 I have this waiting for me. I deserve this. I deserve everything that's coming my way. And what the scripture says, the, uh, uh, what? That those that have received benefits but have not known me, the, uh, the same shall know it after death by pain. So uh, ultimately, these people got to fucking die, man. These people don't want to acknowledge the Lord. Yeah, hey, well, well, how are we entitled? What are you entitled to? Just like the brother said in the garden. Here you have it. The Lord, he got Adam and Eve, man. They're, they're straight, cooling. You can have this, that, the third. Hey, just, just don't fuck with this right here. But yet, oh, no, you know what? Hey, he said, what, what, what did the serpent say? It shall be as God, no good and evil. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I, I, right. I, I think I need that. He, I think I deserve that. He empowered that. Eve, man. Yeah. That's, 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 that's the key thing. He empowered her, man. And that's, that's, that's Jeremiah. It says what? It says that a woman shall compass a man, a woman make a new thing in her earth. And that's what it's about. But see, it's like women say they believe, but yet they still hold on to the power that the serpent gave them, man. Yeah. You can't say you believe in the Lord, but yet hold on to, you can't, what did, what did Yahweh Shah say? You can't serve the most high and mammon. You're going to either hate the one and love the other, man. You can't do both. So you either understand our heritage and you let go of the power that the serpent gave you, or you, or you, do, or this, whatever. You can't have the best of two worlds, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you can't have one foot in and, and one foot, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and uh, you got one foot in the truth and one foot in the world, man. The Lord ain't dealing with that, man. You know, you got to give your hundred percent to the Lord. You know, you, know? you got to give your all. Going back to these scriptures that, that 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 we started with about faith, man. See, everybody's faith is going to be made manifest, man. Everybody's faith is going to be made manifest because it's going to show in our deeds, man. It's going to show in our works. When we can't have something that we desire and want, it's going to show. Are we still, still going to serve the Lord and do what's right or are we going to bug out? Our deeds is going to show, man. You know, when we put in a situation where uh, affliction and trouble, right? We lose our job, we lose our woman, we lose our house, we lose our health. Oh, Lord, uh, why you do this? I was serving you. Everybody's faith going to be made manifest, man. You know? And these things are written for an example. Like the brother said, Job. Even your call, he quoted it about keeping our integrity, man. Okay. We ain't got nothing. We go back to Sirach. So, so Sirach chapter 41, in verse uh, uh, 18, it says, this is going back to some things, uh, I'll read 17 again. Be ashamed of whoredom before father and mother and of a lie before a prince and a mighty man. Be ashamed of whoredom before father and mother. And these bitches openly got a, a, a OnlyFans right. account and promoting right. it and the, on right. their social media. And they dad looking at it. And they mom drunk. looking in their in, in they house. And right? Then she, in the, uh, she upstairs in the room bouncing on a dildo, recording herself, all type of strange men watching her, and her, her father's downstairs, man. This is what America promotes, man, with the door locked and some music blasting. Playing with a fucking toy, man. All right? But, but, but then she's, she's prideful because what? She's getting money. She got the bag. Right? That's what's happening in America. But this place not going, doesn't need to be destroyed. Esau completely has the minds of these people, man. It says that the prince of this power, or, 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 or the, the, the prince of uh, uh, the power of this world, okay, has blinded their minds. You thinking that's right? You thinking that's okay? You accept that shit? You should be ashamed of that, man. But when it was pushed, you know, you can't slay, you can't shame a slut, right? Ain't no shame in my game. They said that a, whore, a, a, a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, and a harlot shall be counted as spittle. You're nothing in the eyes of the Lord. Right. The fire and brimstone, the wind. When the Lord comes, He's not going to say, You don't matter how pretty you are, how fine you are, how big your ass is, or how big your titties is. That don't mean shit. All right? How much money you got. Okay? That's not going to mean nothing to the Lord, man. You're going to die in these calamities, man. You're right. going to get judgment passed upon you for being a shameless ass whore. Well, that's written. The Lord said He respect uh, no man's person. They ain't just talking about man. It's from a person as a whole. He, 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 he ain't to respect the persons, man. The Lord ain't looking like, oh man, she pretty as hell. I'm gonna have mercy. No. <laughs> you know, the Lord, the Lord ain't thinking like that. He don't look on the outward. Yeah. He look on the inward. Of, okay. of man and woman. You know? You know what I'm saying? What's
says in Ezekiel, go to the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. Hey, yeah, we sign and crying about all the abominations. We ain't leaving nothing out, man. This whole society is wicked, man. From their money system, the food that they got, all right? This this damn uh, uh, hookup culture, How okay? The earth, every fucking thing, everything. man. Everything that's contrary to the scriptures. Not having the land, Sabbath, all right? Here it is uh, uh, in our law. All right, when you uh, when you work, you're supposed to get your money before the sun down. The sun goes down, man. All right, but in this system, you gotta uh, you gotta get paid. You get paid bi-weekly, all right? And then they take money. All this shit is uh, is abominable, man. So we sign a for every everything, man. The food that we eating, man. Everything, man. all the food. Disorder in every asset of life, man. and they even going against their own establishment. Like, for instance, in the Constitution, it says that um, uh, wages, wages, uh, hourly wages are not are not taxable, man. But yet, every time we get paid, man, you know what I'm saying? You see that motherfucking state tax, right? You know, the federal tax. You see all that, man. Right. And that's against the Constitution, but yet it's doing it. Right. You know, but here it is. This nigga going against what he what he established himself, but yet people trust in this devil, man. You can't even keep your own laws. Exactly. Come on now. Amendments. Amendment. An amendment. You're you're changing something that that you wrote. There ain't no amendments in the scriptures, man. But the Lord establishes what it is. You know. They said there's no flaws. There's no faults in the law. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't no gray area with the Lord, man. You know. Oh well, the Lord left this out, so maybe no, man. But the Lord is either yay or it's nay. It's either right or it's wrong, man. It ain't no middle and in between, you know? Right. Just like Ezekiel says, that's for the others that don't have the mark. Go through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare. Neither have no, no pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. So we're not playing no games yeah. with, with women or he's uh, playing no games with no children. When you go into that word maids, I looked it up and um, a brother can verify it, but when you go into that word maids, it all goes back into Bakwala. You know, you can learn Bakwala is the actual version, man. So these are young, in today's society, what, actual versions of 9, 10, 11? Because about the time they get 12, 13, 14, shit, they ain't virgins no more, man. So when you go into that word, man, it's about it's Bakwala, man. So the Lord ain't the Lord ain't sparing none, man. You know, if you ain't moving in the fear of the Lord, then your ass getting got, you know? Yeah, yeah, I believe, I believe it's my father, you know? You hold him? It says 2 Ezra 9 and uh, and 9. Uh, I start up. Let me see. Uh, start at 7. God. It says 2 Ezra 9 and 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith where ye be have believed. That ain't just men. That's women also, man. You see? Because women have works and faith. Right? We can read that in Acts. We can read that in the Gospels with the different women that uh, uh, that ministered unto Yahweh Shai to the disciples. Right? Uh, uh, Dorcas, she was uh, one of the uh, uh, the women that Peter had uh, raised from the uh, from the dead. It spoke yeah. about how, uh, yeah, Joanna, you know, Susanna, you know, it was Susanna. Yeah, there's numerous women in the scriptures. And what did they do? It says that they ministered unto them there out of their substance, man. So they had what? They had houses that they were house brothers, right? They had substance. They had a... Um, uh, um, 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 what's the word I'm looking for, man? Uh, resources that they shared with the with, with, with the church, with the body. You know, they were serving brothers, man, bringing brothers food, cooking for them, water, and certain things, man. Right? And that was all through faith that they had in our Lord Yahweh Shai. Right? Go ahead. Verse 8. Shall be preserved from the set of peril, and shall see my salvation in my land, and within my borders, mm -hmm. for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. That's it. Then they shall be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life... They shall dwell in torments, man. That's going into all the, different, all the different scenarios the Lord is going to be putting people through all right, to bring forth their destruction, man. See, even when the Lord flooded the earth, that was, that, that was horrifying, man. But they didn't have to go through plagues of famine, all right, martial arts. See, these people are going to go from one bad experience to the next bad experience to the next bad, bad experience. They're just going to want to hope that there's a way out. That's why the scripture said that the day of the Lord is darkness and not light with uh, even no light in it, man. It even goes into it in uh, the book of Amos. So for me, it's the 
Isaiah chapter 2, not mistaken, it says the dead horse should be like a man that flee, flee from a lion, then a bear met him. All right. Then he escaped the bear, went inside, leaned upon the wall, so he thought he was straight, he thought it was cool. Then a serpent came and bit him, man. See, that's the dead of war. That's one calamity to the next calamity to the next calamity, man. It's like the movie Final Destination. Yep. You're not <laughs> escaping sure. your judgment. <laughs> no, you can come through. Yep. It's okay. Yep. Hey, they, you can even uh, read, you can read about it in the scriptures and history. Like when you go through, uh, when you read about 70 AD, what was going on, uh, you had women that were, uh, uh, this one chick uh, named, uh, it's like Mary of Beth Bethsaida. All right, Mary of Bethsaida, when you look it up in the Josephus. All right, it goes into an account with her. Uh, men were coming into her crib every single fucking day and pillaging her uh, crib looking for food, man. Yeah, he, they lucky you weren't pillaging her. Right, it, it, it didn't much. say, it didn't say, but they probably were, you know? And because that's what was going down, man, you know? But anyways, they was going through her, through the crib and not just once a day, multiple times a day looking for food, man. All right, she had a child and it got to the point to where she had boiled, uh, she had uh, boiled her son, man. All right, this is written about in, in the Josephus in 78 AD, man. All right, she boiled her son, all right, uh, uh, ate half of him, right? And then when they came in, when the people came in, all right, they smelled something cooking. So they came through the crib, like what you got cooking, right? Then they told her, they were like, she pretty much was like, oh, well, y'all was so hungry, this is gonna hurry here, y'all can have some food. You know? And then and the accountant talks about how those people were disgusted and they left, man. And they even hesitated to, uh, to stay away the child, man. But they were so disgusted at that point that they just bounced. She ate half a child that day in the West, uh, and paid him a, uh, another uh, another day, man. Right, and that's accounting as you'll see, because like your brother said, yeah. we don't even need that, man. We can read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, man. Uh, it, it speaks about that. Right. I believe you can start at 50, 50, 52. It talks about them eating their, uh, Well, because yeah. the scripture we use to say that, uh, you know, uh, that, uh, I shall be evil toward his brother. It goes into it actually going, It's we're actually going into what? That, that, that famine that was taking place, man. Yeah. We're speaking about how they go leave their children and they didn't want to uh, uh, leave it, uh, uh, share it to eat it with nobody else, right. man. That was the mindset, man. People didn't want to, they, they ate their own children and didn't want to share it with nobody, man. <laughs> That's in the curse. That's written. Right. And these, then that's coming back. Right. It's in the worst way. It's going to be even worse. He says a time like no like other. other. Lamentations 4 says the pity women, uh, the pitiful women have sodden their children. They were their meat in the destruction of my people, man. All throughout the scriptures, it speaks about cannibalism, man. Isaiah the ninth chapter, eating your own all. Right? This is the fear of the Lord, man. You know? It says through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We don't want no smoke with that, man. You know, don't want none of that, man. Because these things are going to happen. Because I, I had called for that Matthew 24, but I just quoted it. And that Matthew 24, when y'all was shouting, if you see these different things, right? Know that the end is not yet, but this is the beginning of sorrow. So we see this, what we're going through right now is just the beginning, man. This is the beginning. So that means it's only going to get worse. People are 2020 and oh, 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 it's bad and I'm glad it's over. Then when that was going down in Houston, I bet they was wishing for 2020 to come back. But see, it's only going to get worse, man. As time progresses, hey, that is, that's going in torments, man. It's only going to get worse, man. Well, the Lord said he's going to send a uh, plagues like Egypt and uh, you know, before, before, man. You know, Ate all their uh, uh, all their crops, all their uh, you know vegetation. So, so what? That would lead to a famine, you know. Now we have to rain, uh, uh, fire, you have to destroy their trees. That you know, yeah. So, so, so that was that was strategically being broken down, and that's the same thing that's happening to America, man. We've seen uh, the the Garaco that happened two years ago, you know. We're seeing these different uh, uh, storms, uh, these different um, freeze overs. You know, it's destroying crops and different houses. Man, look, look, the Lord is destroying Egypt all over again. And I'm talking about America, man. No, no, and it says, uh, uh, you know, you can picture those things, man. You know, it says, like the brother was saying, in Daniel's 12th chapter, it would be a time like no other, man. It says in Jeremiah, the 16th chapter, that that's not going to be said. That the, uh, that the children got delivered from Egypt, but it's going to be said that they got delivered from the land of the north, man. Bro, you know, bro, this is going to be great. Look, we're entering into a time of great glory, man. 
You see, we looking for we looking forward to it. While guys talking about it ain't gonna be no Jacob's trouble, guys talking about all oh, it's this and that. Ultimately, these niggas don't believe. We looking forward to that, man, because that's when great the Lord is gonna show His might and power, man. Yeah, great destruction has to come in order for great glory to come. Man. Just like in the Book of Wisdom of Solomon, in the twelfth chapter, it says what? Or is it eighteen? I think it's eighteen. It says uh, was accepted the destruction of our enemies and the salvation of the righteous, man. And keep reading down. It speaks about how the same things where they were destroyed. We were the, the Lord was bored by and us through that, man. So meaning what? Those places and punishments that was on the didn't touch us. Lord, the power and the glory and the might of the Lord, man. So it's gonna be the same thing in these times. It's gonna be touching all these people, but the men of the Lord will be straight. For instance, go to go back to uh, last month or what was happening down in Houston, man. People died in their cars, people freezing off the Lord. But prayers was up continually for those brothers down in Houston, man, and the spirit had the brothers taken care of, man. That shows the glory of the Lord right there, man. That should boost our faith even more to know, like, look, okay, so whenever we in any type of jam, the Lord is going to protect us just how he had them brothers protected, man. We can believe that, man. Because the same things is happening. Let's go back to Egypt. The brother mentioned Egypt. What happened in Egypt? There was a, um, I think the scriptures call it a moraine. Now, when you look up a moraine, it's a, it's, it's a disease of cattle, man. It's not, you know, you every every now and again, you would hear about a recall of meat, you know, because it's tainted, uh, E. coli and, and, and different oh, cow disease and the chicken being recalled, man. See, these are the same, these are the same, these are the same plagues, man. You know? They've been euthanizing, they've been euthanizing the, uh, that shit is euthanizing a lot of the uh, cattle, all right? So they're just straight up slaughtering chickens, all right? Straight up slaughtering, uh, 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 fucking uh cows all right that's that's the lord you know take leading it to a famine okay it, it, it's, a, it's another plague man these farmers are committing suicide why because of those different things man their crops is failing okay they're being forced to euthanize their cattle they're not bringing in the same increase okay that's a plague okay uh, uh in the past in the past year since the pandemic uh homicide the homicide rate all the time That pale horse riding in, man. That pale horse, that pale horse, that pale horse is a spirit. Matter of fact, let's grab that real quick. Revelation 6, and um, it might be like verse 10, verse 11. Revelations uh, chapter 6, it starts with this, it's the pale horse. <laughs> Revelations chapter 6 and verse, uh, oh, pale or not white, right? Eight. Pale horse. Verse 8, it says, and I looked and behold a pale horse and his name that said on him was death, uh -huh. and hell followed with it. Meaning bad times, man. That hell, it, it represents what? Roughness, man. Straits. Destruction. It says hell followed with him, man. That's a time like none other, man. It's going to be, it's going to be free. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. That's it, man. You know, so it's killed with the sword and with hunger with the beast of the earth. That's the spirit that's out there that's only going to increase as the days go closer to so our Lord's coming. It's only going to increase, man. You see? So as the left hand, as wickedness, right? And abomination growing more and more, what should we be doing to counter it? Growing in the spirit more and more, man. Moving in the sense of urgency, man. You know? You brothers can get your precepts. You want that dude around you? Yeah, I mean, we can hit it. We can hit it. No, I got some. It's Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 52. And he shall besiege Start thee. up, brother. Start like 48 or 47. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. And in what of all things? Bro, the Lord said, because you didn't serve me in joy of heart when you had everything, I'm going to have you serve these motherfuckers with nothing. Come on, man. You know? And you got guys that are taking uh, advantage of that. Look at this as a bird, as a chore. You should be, you should be uh, grateful and rejoiced in the spirit, man, to be able to be a partaker of this, man. Go ahead. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And you, all you have to do is go to Google, man, and just type in yoke of iron. 
Look at the images that pop up, man. You know, you ain't gotta type in black. You ain't gotta type in goddamn slate. You ain't gotta do none of that. Just type in yoke of iron, go to images, and see the images that pop up, man. And that right there proves to you who the Israelites are. That's it. It, it proves to you who the Israelites are, and it proves to you who's the biggest enemy of the Israelites. All right, we put the yoke of iron on the side of the That's right. Yeah, who's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah the come right up. Yep. He put he put the uh, uh, on Jake, which makes him uh, it, it makes him uh, uh, Israel's biggest enemy, and Israel's biggest enemy is the Edomites, man. So that proves that you're the Edomites, and that proves that we're the Israelites. Japheth yeah. didn't do that. Yeah, Japheth Moab didn't do it. All you right, know. Ishmael didn't do the shit. All right, it's Esau that put the yoke of iron upon not only Judah but also Northern Kingdom too, yeah, man. It's on them first. You can find you can find pictures. You can find a few pictures of Gad, of Issachar, having yokes of iron upon their neck, man. Yep, the Asherites, the, uh, the yeah, Ephraimites, uh, they call them Tainos, yeah. you know. So that shows you right there, if I would have read up a verse that yeah. says, these yeah. curses shall be a sign on Israel, all right? So that shows you right there. Look it up right now. Yoke of iron, you're going to see these people, man, okay? Plain and simple. We're the Israelites. There ain't no doubt about it, okay? It says, there, um, verse 49, the Lord shall bring a nation against me from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flying. That's a prophecy talking about the Romans, right? But well, we could we could apply that to today. What is America a symbol? You know? It's the eagle, man. Same as Rome. It says from the uh it says, as swift as the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Right, back then they were speaking Latin, man. Coming in, yeah, they were what? They speak Latin to this day on the back of your dollar bill. Like when you watch um, uh, like movies, like different movies, you know, with uh, uh you know, with like witches and sorcerers and shit. Speaking they always Latin. speak Latin, man. Yeah, all the spells be in Latin, bro. Yeah, it's, it's showing you who the who the who the, who the, uh, the, the, the how does it worded in uh they who, um um the mistress of witchcraft, right, right. you know, <laughs> showing you, man, that it's Esau is the devil that the Bible speaks of, you know. You got it. Says, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, and that's why when he came over here, he brought what? When Christopher Colon came over, he brought Hebrew interpreters, all right, so that he would be able to communicate with the people of this land. Why do you bring Hebrews and Hebrew interpreters, right? And if he was going to India, he knew what the fuck he was doing. And he even showed you in that movie, what is it, 19? Uh, 14, 1492. It shows you in that movie that he went to the book of Ezra, man. All right, it said these are the, these are where the children of Israel went. Okay. Yeah, uh, the priest asked him like, yeah. "How do you know?" You know what I'm saying? He was quoting different things and he was like Ezra's. Yeah. And then the priest was like, "But Ezra's a Jew, like right, a lot of right. you know." Right. But that show you right there, man. Yep. Because then, when, so when Esau came over here, he gave that language. He and he beat Jake's ass so bad he beat their language out of them, man. So that's why you have Northern Kingdom speaking Spanish, some of them speaking Portugal, right? Because that's what they are conquered by, a, a, a language that you didn't understand. You got Jake Judah to, uh, uh, speaking, speaking English. Haiti, Haiti speak French. Yeah, speaking really? French, because that's what they was conquered by. Yep. So that's the fulfillment of the prophet. Everybody else has their own language, but the people on this side. Japanese people, people speak Japanese, Chinese people speak Chinese. Everybody on this side is speaking a the, language from overseas. Past, a, a language that you know? didn't understand at first. Our language is the Hebrew language. You indigenous to Mexico, but you speak in Spanish. Right. You ain't seen Spain a day in your life. You know? It says, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of old, of the old, nor show favor to the young. This is the same devil, all right? When, 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 shit, when, shit, when Esau get his back pushed all the way to the wall, he is not going to show any love to you old niggas. He's not going to show any love to the young. He's not going to show any love to the women. Well, he's doing it now. Just like when um uh, what, what happened last month in Houston, man. Yep. He didn't he didn't care that if it was uh children that was in those households that he shut the power off to. He didn't care that if it, if it was old people that then he didn't care about none of that, man. He didn't consider he don't consider none of that. The devil won't be like, oh well, who's all in there? Oh, they need that power. You know, they got infants in there. Oh no, let's 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 keep that power on for them. He don't give a fuck about right. that, man. He knows that all you are niggas. In his mind. It's either an old nigga or you a nigga baby. He don't give a fuck. He think you know? a nigga baby yeah, is breathing, worse. Breathing machines and, you know, he, he, he don't care, man. And you people go learn that, man. 
and you're gonna learn that the hard way. You see, if you're not gonna learn through the scriptures that this your enemy, you're gonna learn the hard way, man. Rest in, rest in chair. It says, verse 51, and ye shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy lamb until thou be destroyed. And that's how you know it's talking about Rome, you know? When they came and, and took everything that Israel owned, man, took all that, you know? And once again, I got a brother applied it to Christopher, uh, uh, Christopher Columbus, his real name is Christopher Columbus, applying it to him. When they came over here, man, they raped, robbed, and, and, and pillaged the, uh, the people of South America, man, you know? Well, uh, Hispaniola, the people of the islands more specifically, but as they increased, as they uh, he went back and more people came, the conquistadors came over, right? Then uh, they came to, uh, up to North America, the English the settlements. And the first people to come over here from the English, man, the Elder Malcolm, I like to go into the history a lot. The first ones that were sent over here were criminals, man. Were uh, uh, murderers, rapists, and robbers that, uh, uh, that, that, that England sent over here, man. So imagine what they did when they came over here, man. They, they did the same thing they were doing over there. They raped, robbed, and pillaged the uh, 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 gas, you know? But anyway, you got it. It says, which also... That's how America was founded, man. It was founded by murderers, rapists, and robbers, man. Sodomites. They go on real quick. Uh, Leviticus 26 and 17. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you, and you shall flee with none pursue you. Hey, going back, hey, to this to this place, man. All they did was, was is killing us off, man. That's all they're gonna continuously do, they because they hate you. And you gotta realize that they got a, a perpetual yeah. hatred for you, man. So don't it's expect any love from them. Don't expect any justice. You don't say any righteous, no mercy, none of that, man. He ain't gonna give you that. Well, his, his job is to, yeah. to kill you, man. The, uh, uh, um, if I'm not mistaken, the New World Order slogan is uh, is uh, expect no mercy, man. That's the slogan, man. These niggas ain't playing. Yeah. Yeah. It says, uh, and ye, this is back in Deuteronomy 28 and 51, and ye shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed. Like we, we're dealing with a devil who had this plan in work for uh, hundreds of years, man. You know, yeah, what'd you say, brother? Since 1776. You know, yeah. the back of the dollar bill, yep. you know, I believe his name was Adam Weishaupt. You know, once again, the apostles go into all this history, man, being able to understand that, man, you know? But when they uh, devised the plan, right? I believe, um, what the fuck is his name? Alistair Crowley, I believe this devil, um, Albert Pike, it's Albert Pike, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, this devil wrote like a memoir or wrote a book, and in that book he spoke about uh, three world wars, man. You know, and he spoke about how the first world war was to establish this and to do that. The second world war was to do this and do that. You know, and within they followed and they followed that plan. So they got plans that they had established for hundreds of years. You think they could have changed that all of a sudden now? No, man. No, these devils are determined, man. And the only way, and the only way to fight it is through this faith, man. Because if we rely on carnal means or we thinking that, bro, none of that is going to prosper against this devil, you know? None of that is going to prosper against this devil, man. We got to believe in this word wholeheartedly. Because that's the only way we're going to win. We're expecting divine intervention. That's the only way we're going to win, man. You know? Whatever situation we in. Like, once again, you saw, I was watching Elder Yashua, but he was speaking about a brother. And brother, we like be in the back of a goddamn paddy wagon, you know, headed to a concentration camp, man. Hey, hey you got to keep the hope and, and, and faith alive continually all the way to the end. You can't panic and be like, oh, you know, you got to expect the victory, man. An angel can pop up and, 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 and flip that fucking truck, you know? We got to expect these things, man. that was talking about 70 AD, right? But look, Daniel 12 is going to be even, it even uh, it's, it explains that it's going to be worse than that, man. The time that we're entering in is going to be worse than that, you know? 
Do it. Wear it. And Yahweh spoke about it. Yahweh uh, spoke about how the enemy would uh, cast the trench about them, you know, would surround us. That happened during that 70 AD, man. And these are the things that was going on uh, during that time, like you was explaining. It's going to be way worse, man. It's going to be way worse than what we're going to leave. Wherein thou trustest throughout all thy land, and he shall besiege thee in all thy gates throughout all thy land, which the Lord thy power hath given thee. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thy own body, and the flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters. Right, so this is all through the wrath of the Lord, man. So in that siege, what was happening? They were eating the fruit of their own body, their children that they raised up. All right? The Lord was the fruit of the Take everything that you got. You're not gonna show the young pity, you're not gonna show the old pity. You wanna follow your own way, right? You wanna be obedient to me? I'm gonna hook your ass just like this, man. Alright? And and he did it. And it's and he's about to do it again, but even worse, man. Alright? Many is gonna perish. Many is the, the multitude is gonna perish. It, it, it said there be more of them that shall be saved. Or there shall be more of them that uh, uh, are perish than of them that shall be saved, man. As a, a as a uh, wave is greater than a drop. Man. That's a small amount. And niggas is playing the push. Let me get that. Let me get that for real quick. It says, uh, Second Ezra 9. Uh, it says 9 and, um, and 13. I'm starting at 13. I'll just get to the point. It says 15. I have said before, and now do speak, and will speak in there after, hereafter, that no, there's... Hey, go back up to nine. Because no. you spoke about dwelling in torments, and I don't think we actually finished that. Right. You know, okay. it, it, led, it led to, you know... God, it says, second Edges 9 and 9, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my way. So those people during 70 AD, they was in pitiful case that abused the Lord's ways, man. And it's going to be the same thing that's going to play out in today's time, man, who's to the people that's not hawking into the Lord's word, go ahead. And they that have cast them away despitefully mm -hmm. shall dwell in torment, for such as in their life have received benefits and not known me. And they that have loathed my law, while they yet had liberty, when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it. Right, man. And you know, in the place of repentance, guess what? It's the men of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shalom, the house of repentance. That's it. Isaiah 19 speaks about what? There shall be altars in the midst of Egypt, man. So how do you go to, uh, in the ancient world, where would you go to, um, to ask for forgiveness? You would go and present a sacrifice. You would go to the priest, right? Well, the priests are, are, are the men on the highways and hedges. So this is the repentance right here, man. 
And it says what? They despise me. So that's what? Them despising the men of the Lord. It says that, uh, I believe it's in the book of Amos. It says that um, they uh, they hate him that speaketh the right And they abhor him that uh, speaketh, you know. I, 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 just, I just butchered that, man. I just butchered it. It's Amos 5 and, um, yeah, it's Amos. I think it's Amos 5. It's I got five. it. Amos chapter 5 and verse 10. I knew it. I knew it. I wanted to say 10, but I always knew it. Yep. It says, they hate him, they rebuke it in the gate, and That's they it. abhor. That's it. Go ahead. And they abhor them, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. That's it, man. You know? So that's, line, that's lining up uh, with the second address. It says that when the, door, when the doors of repentance were open, they understood it not, but despised it, man. Meaning what? They don't understand what we're doing out here, man. Yeah. But what? But they despise it. Oh, who is these niggas? I don't know if this right? is dead or not, but it, uh, it just said it's what he said. He just had some nigga ride past, yelling something out the window, man. Yeah, man. man. And it, you know, it doesn't matter what he's saying. Ultimately, it's going to lead to his destruction, man. That's it. <laughs> you know, once again, like I, was, like I said, I was watching over Yashua. And it's all spiritual. Because he was speaking about guys riding past, you know, yelling, saying, saying shit. And he was like, nigga, you was born. Just to yell out the window and be destroyed, That's man. sad, bro. That's, That's sad. The, that, that, that moment defines your whole life. That's sad. You know? Guys, have a nice evening. All right, yep, you too. You, you, you were born, you were born just so you could scoff the prophet so, so you could die, man. Yeah, you know? Yeah, and he said, said that in the spirit, and right when he said that, somebody yeah, rolled past looking him off. You know? And he, there you go. <laughs> and he was like, look, man, see? You know? <laughs> so, it, so it, it's, you know? People walk past, you know, or, or ride past, and they look at these dumb niggas. They ain't even got to say it out loud. Just think it in their mind, right? Look at these dumb niggas. Oh, just, just got you, you know? Because this word is either, look, this word is meant to either bring you into righteousness, or it's going to or it's gonna lead you further into darkness, man. Because you're either going to be accepting of it and correct yourself, or you're going to rebel more than more. It's, it's one or the other, man. Go ahead. Second Ezra 9 and uh, 11. That's 12. And the same must not, I just read 11 again. It said, and they that have loathed my law, while they yet had liberty. Meaning while the doors of repentance were still open, that liberty is the opportunity to do what's right, man. Not to do what the hell you want to do. No. Yeah, the liberty is the grace, man. For you to get right. It's time for you to correct yourself. Go ahead. It says, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Verse 12, the same must know it after death by pain. Yep. And therefore, be thou not curious on how the ungodly should be saved. Shall I get? Ungodly shall be punished. And when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and from whom the world is created. Then answered I and said, I have said before, and now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter. That there be many more of them which perish than them, sh them which shall be saved. Like as a wave is greater than a drop. But that salvation was for everybody. The Lord just said there's going to be more people that die than more people that are saved. That's why, that's why you have a shot. Uh, matter of fact, it's in Luke. My brother knew exactly where that's at. Uh, a disciple asked you how was shot. He was like, Lord, uh, uh, is there many? Is there many uh, perish that be saved? And that's what he told the uh, scribe to enter into the straight gate. Uh, yeah. Now remember where I, I, I don't know. Water, but, uh, this is uh, Luke 13 and 23. Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, scribe to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able, man. You know? So we got it right now, man. We got to look, look, just like how Yahweh Shah told him, man. That's advice for each and every last one of us, you know? Strive to enter in at the straight gate because, look, it's going to be a time when not all these people are going to get right, man. You know? There's a scripture where it says, in their affliction, they shall seek me early. But that early is too fucking late, man. Go ahead, Doc. That, that was it on that? Okay. Yeah. Jump back. I'm trying to seek the Lord at the end. On your turn. Right. You're trying to seek the Lord in a martial law camp. That's like Ecclesiastes as well. You know? <laughs> you, see, you see that in the Christian church, man. You, 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 you have the nigga woman. Here it is. She's slutting out and doing all her youth. 
then all of a sudden she used and abused and old as hell and now she want to give her life to Jesus. <laughs> Talking about I'm married to Jesus. Did you been married to 39 motherfuckers in three hours? I perceived that as you know? <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, you can. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse her collective. Can I start up a little bit? Uh, Ecclesiastes 11 and 9. It says, Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and walk in the ways of thine heart and in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou that for all these things the Most High will bring thee into judgment. Therefore, remove sorrow from thy heart, and put away evil from thy flesh. For childhood and youth are vanity. Remember now, thy Creator, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun, or the light, or the moon, or stars so be not dark. So that's talking about what? So that's talking about when you, you ain't, you ain't, it ain't no more fun time no more. You know? See, a lot of people, when, when, when shit get hard, and you ain't allowed to, uh, like a brother mentioned, you know, a lot of these bitches are holy fans. When the internet gets shut down, man, and it ain't no way to make the little money, the only thing you can do is turn to a man, then you're gonna wanna seek the Lord. Then you're gonna seek the man now. It's gonna be too late. You got guys that I mean, I, 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 got, I got time to, you know. Uh, I know, you know. We got, we got family members, man. So I got this brother number. I can call this brother any time. You know, you know, I'm just smoke this last blood. Nah, man. See that mentality, man. It's gonna, it's gonna be too late, man. There's a judgment for the way you've been moving, you know. So now that you ain't having fun no more, now that your, uh, um, your opportunities of, uh, of your, what, what was distracting you get cut off. Now you want to focus on the Lord, man. No, you should have been focused on him in the first place. You should have been sacrificing those different things already. So now that the Lord took it away from you, and now the only thing you can do is seek him, now you, oh, well, I might as well just do it now. No, man. You know, now it's not willingly, you know? Quick so reset. Real fast, if I could jump in there. There's Proverbs chapter 1 and verse uh, 28. I'll start at verse 27. Because everybody is distraught and fucked up in the world, man, is because they're because because it's, it's without this word, man. You know? Because it's without this word. There's a scripture in Sirach. It says um, that a woman, uh, if she maintained her husband, is full of anger and, and, and reproach. I'm roughly paraphrasing the scripture. When you go into that word maintain, it literally means to hold in the hand, man. You know? It literally means to hold in the hand. So here it is, you got a woman who's trying to control everything. She want to say something, this and that and that and that. She's full of anger and reproach, right? It's because that's not her role to do that, man. That's not her role to do that. You don't wonder why this shit's not working out. You know? But then you all angry and mad and upset all the time. Why? Because you're trying to put yourself in a role that wasn't made for you. You see? And it's the same thing with men. They try to put, put overdo yourself or try to put yourself in a role that's not made for you, man. You see, when we all come back to the knowledge and understanding of the scriptures and play our role according to the spirit, that's where that, that comfort comes, man. You know, that's where that stability comes, as it says in Isaiah 33rd chapter. You want, to, you want to say something? It's Proverbs 1 and 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then shall they call upon me when the destruction comes. Niggas is going to try to call upon the Lord. Like Niggas is going to try to be holy and righteous. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Exactly, man. But now you want to get right when it starts raining. It starts raining. I've been telling you for 100 years. Lord's gonna destroy this place. And you, you was laughing, you was talking your shit, you was doing whatever you wanted to do, but now that it's raining, now it's God. You know, idols me, right? Now you want someone to save you. But this whole time, you wasn't thinking about the Most High. You wasn't thinking about the Lord and what He wanted in His will. Right, so whatever you put your energy in, whatever you put your mind toward, let that, let, let that save you. You know? Because in the, in the um, in Romans, it says, whatever you yield your members unto, that's who serving to y'all, man. So whatever you put your energy and your time into, right? Hey, let, let that save you in that time, you know? You got guys that put all their time and energy into their family or their woman, right? Well, let's see if they're going to deliver you when that time comes, man. 
Yeah, you put your time and your uh, energy into your job, your riches, your support. Yeah, let's see, if, let's see if, let's see if that'll deliver you, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, the basketball is gonna save you for this one. Right. That's all niggas is good for, hooping, playing football and shit. A nigga will dedicate everything to that. That's just not gonna save you in these last days. College, with degree, is not gonna save you, man. Only thing that's gonna save you is something y'all about, something y'all will shy, man. It says, Hosea 5 and 15, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they shall seek me early. You know, so yeah, when when, when all hell is breaking loose, when these prophecies come to pass, man, on a higher scale, you know, when when you see martial law hitting, you know, when you, when you see uh, uh, they're trying to implement the uh, 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 MOB, man, when you see all these things coming to pass, now you're gonna go to Ezekiel 33 and 3, man. You know, there's gonna be, uh, uh, what is that? Help me uh, uh, quote it, Ezekiel 33 and 33. Uh, 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 Seek the Lord while he may be found. Uh, might be found. Right. You know, call upon him while he is near. He says, when these things come to pass, and lo, they will come, then shall it be known it was a prophet among you. You know, you put me on the spot, so my brain. Hey, man, I, I, I couldn't think anyway. But anyway, but the water, you know? But that's that's when y'all niggas are going to want to repent, man. But it's going to be too late. It says uh, uh, in, what is it, Isaiah, the 24th chapter, you know, that they're going to go, uh, they're going to be seeking to and fro, man, you know, for wisdom. You know, but they're not going to find it, man. You know, because by the time, uh, 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 you know, that's going to be the famine of the word, man. You know, that Amos, you got that? Right, go ahead. Right, right. Okay, Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but, but appearing the words of the Lord. And that's the key thing. It says appearing the word. God. So it says it's going to be a famine of doing that, man. So what? That letting you know that the men are not going to be out there teaching. So that means you're not going to be able to get this faith, which means that the doors of repentance are closed, man. See, going back to that Deuteronomy 28 that brother was reading, Yahweh Shah gave us a way out of that. What did he say? He said, when you see these armies, flee into the mouth. Remember Lot's wife. Don't look back. Don't come back and get no shit. No, no nigga, you see that? Run. So Yahweh Shah gave us what to do. He told us what to do. So it's the same thing in these days right now. He's telling us what to do through the Holy Spirit with what? Which is these words. He's telling us what to do through the spirit of truth. So in order to avoid all that happening, we have to apply this word. Right. It, it, it's very simple, man. You know? It says wisdom delivers from pain. That's it. So if you apply this wisdom, that's how you get delivered from pain. To, to practice right. what they preaching out there and they converting my people from their wickedness all right the and bringing them in, exactly establishing righteousness establishing the fear of the lord i'm pleased with those men right. i'm going to deliver those men from anything man hey because like you said through the foolishness of preaching now here it is saying what how the world view us man the world view us as fools man what the scripture says hey I, i'm a fool for you how i wish i say man this hey, i'll gladly be that man for the lord's sake you know finish that amos brother Amos chapter 8, and verse 12, and, then, uh, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north, even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. You see? And that's what? That's going to be the too late. Then they're going to strive to enter into the straight gate. Then they're going to want to find out what, what's that name? What? I, what what's it say? I ain't, I ain't supposed to be eating what now again? You know? It's going to be too late then, man. It's going to be too late. Pop's got one then. You know, your brother. go one real quick. Uh, Proverbs 8 and 17. I love them that love me. And you know what love is? That's uh, 1 John 5 and 3. All right? It says, and 
It says, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. So right now is the time to be seeking after the Lord right now. Lord while he may be found. That's it, man. This is the time right now. It's the time to be doing whatever the hell you want to do. And then when you see shit hit the fan, that's when you want to try to turn to the Lord. It's, it's too late then, man. But see, and that's the thing. Because the Lord is showing us judgment continually, man. Zephaniah 3 and 5, it says that, um, the, uh, the Lord's judgment is, uh, I'm going to hold it with you. Is Zephaniah 3 and 5? Every morning he brings his judgment to light. I got you. This is Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Uh -huh. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not. But the unjust knoweth no shame. You see the state of the world, man, and what's going on in it? His judgment. Bro, his judgment going down, bro. He spoke about how, uh, how you say it. spoke about how the, the homicide rate is uh, increasing in all 50 states. Come on, bro. Is that not, that's, that's judgment. It says there'll be spirits made. Uh, for vengeance, man. It's a rock 39, man. So we seeing these different things, man. The judgment is here now, man. So these things ought to, what? To motivate us to do what's right, man. You know? But see, the Jake, Jake, you want to see that, the, 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 the army, come, the, you want to see the, the army marching down the road before your ass gets straight, man. By that time, it's going to be too damn late, man. You sure, know? Even then, they got to wait until they actually get their ass whooped. Because you see the troops. You see the military vehicles going down the streets. All right, they've been through through Chicago. You got niggas on their phones taking videos of them and shit like that, and they still don't get right, man. The Lord's gonna really just put a foot in Jake ass, and then even Jake is still gonna be. They still in that rebellious spirit, man. You know, bro. I got a little cousin, bro. It, it blows me because I hate a little ass child that don't know how to listen, bro. You know, I have a little uh, little uh, cousin, man. Uh, fucking my aunt told him to do something. He's like, I, I do. You know, and he goes do some uh, something else, and then my aunt comes with a fucking belt. Look, okay, 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 I'll do it, do it, do it. And then he still don't fucking do it until my aunt comes back and just whips him out of nowhere. Back, okay, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it now. Then his ass is still crying. He's still fucking in the head. You know what I'm saying? But you still gonna do this shit, bro? You know? And that's what the, the heavenly father is like. What is it? Uh, uh, Jonah. He didn't want to go prophesy, but guess what? He still. Uh, uh, he was in the uh, belly of a fish. You know, and he still prophesied, man. Guess what? Either you're gonna do it or you're gonna do it. You know, the hard way or, or, or the simple way, man. But we rather just go through the simple way, you know. And the Lord's telling us how to do those things, man. Just before your mind, you know, uh, forsake your wicked ways, you know, and turn to the Lord, man. It's it's simple, man. Right. It's not hard. Because at it's the end of hard. the day, all Israel gonna serve the Lord regardless, man. Right. <laughs> you know. So either so either you know so serve the Lord now using that analogy or using what you just said. That your little cousin could have just be able to end. He would have avoided the asshole. My head, that's what I but said. instead what he had to get his ass beat and he still had to do what was told him well it's going to be the same thing with two-thirds of our people you're going to go through nuclear fire you're going to go through the family you're going to go through all that in the kingdom of heaven you're going to serve the lord regardless man you know like it says in second Andrews seven chapter man this is second Andrews chapter seven well i was going to jump to 21. Uh, read 18 then jump down okay second Andrews seven and 18. Nevertheless, the righteous. Second Ezra 7 and 18. Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight thing and hope for why. For they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things and yet shall not see the why. So you going to hell and all that just to die. You going to hell and all that. You hope for salvation, man. I'd rather, I'd rather take that hope. Verse 19, and he said unto me, There is no judge above the most high, and none that hath understanding above the highest. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the most high that is set before them. For the most high hath given straight commandment to such as came, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. The Lord made it very clear what needs to be done to avoid these different judgments, man. Like Brother had mentioned earlier, to avoid the Deuteronomy 28. The Lord made it clear what needs to be done to avoid that judgment, man. But niggas didn't listen. So they had to suffer those things. The same thing now that these lessons are going out, all right? It says they turned it none of my reproof in that Proverbs, the first chapter. That's all these lessons going out, all right, of, of correcting our, our character, correcting our ways and our thinking and so on and so forth. But it says what they despised, uh, they uh, uh, didn't take heed to any of my reproof. You know, yeah. they didn't actually apply these things. So what happens, man? That's why when the judgment comes, the Lord's like, well, shit. I sent my prophets out. I let you know. I made it clear it's what you need to do. 
you ain't you ain't take heat. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, because uh, going back to this Amos and the Bush Man is talking about the nation of blood of the CDC. Now what happened in um in uh, uh 70 AD? When, when, when all hell was breaking loose, when calamity was happening, they were see, they were trying to find out or seek the Lord at that moment. Uh, we'll but that's why they had hired, um, you did the lesson, yeah, yeah. They had hired uh, uh, false teachers, false prophets, to tell them to what? To run to the temple, you know? And what happened at the temple? They were all being slaughtered there. So that lines up with the second address. Get that second address, five. Second address, five and one. No, it ain't, it ain't that one, bro. It's a uh, good verse. Yeah, it says that uh, they support men. Kind of like he talks about the book of uh, Acts, I believe, man. Some more men. So you got the, uh, the Roman Empire, all right? The Romans, they were paying off uh, uh, false prophets back then. Tell them, look, go to the temple, and then there's going to be a son from God, and then he's going to come and deliver us, and he was hyping them up. You know, they was using precepts. They was using the precepts when the was shy, made it clear. All right, he said when them troops come in, flee the temple. But niggas did the exact opposite and went to the temple. Because they had guys, you know, right. telling them, you know. Harking into these false teachers and false leaders, which of course they were using precepts to justify. Oh, it's gonna be just like when the Lord delivered us and when, when uh, 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 like uh, what's, when the Assyrians came in, you know? And then uh, and then uh, the Lord had an angel come down. It's gonna be the same thing. Like he Back then. They had, they had the, the, you know, the story of Maccabees. Right, the Maccabees. And the right. temple, you know. So he had, he had pumped the, the, these false prophets had pumped their heads up into believing a lie, man. And these are, this is all extrapolation, you know? You know? Right, right. Yeah. Hey, because, yeah, because what I'm uh, quoting this talk, it just talks about it. It's not this one. But, God, second Ezra 5 and 8. It says, There shall be a confusion also in many places. And the fire shall be off, set out of them, and the wild bees shall change their places, and monstrous women shall bring forth monsters and salt waters. Right. So it says, so it says what? Read that again. It says, a confusion shall be in many places. Is that not happening now, man? Matter of fact, start at seven, brother. It says, second entrance five and seven. And Sodomitish sea shall cast out fish. Is that not happening, man? <laughs> you know? That guy's a fish, bro. You know, fish, the side of the Sodomitic Sea is casting out fish, man. Look at the look, look at the state of this place, man. You see, you got Miss Man is the goddamn director of health. If that's the title, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know what this motherfucking job is, man. But goddamn, you know, you, you got goddamn Michelle Obama praising the way way son, praising his son. I'm not calling, I'm not calling, look, 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 fuck you, Lisa, and all your standards, man. I am not finna call no boy or girl a girl or boy, man. You ain't finna tell me what the fuck God made your ass a boy, I'm gonna call you a boy. What the fuck you talking about, Lisa? Mr. Potato is a man, and the bitch comes up and says, how do you know that? Bitch, he said, it's in the title, Mr. Potato Head. Bro, I was like, what the hell is wrong with these people, bro? Like, this shit bugged out, bro. So now, now Mr. Potato Head gotta be gender new. Come on, man, get, 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 come on, man. That's complete madness, man. Come on, come on through. Then you got these people just smiling all goddamn day, man. Somewhere at the pool, right? He's taking a video of himself. He comes like, hey dad, you see the women over there? He said, What you talking about the women? He said, Yeah, hey, you see the ladies over there? Hey, so they're just going to show. Hey, they're, 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 they're pushing that fucking vibration up there. You know what I'm saying? 
On. And we know Kobe was wicked, but Kobe just a, just just imagine the judgment that's gonna be on D Wade and his son, man. See, the Lord got something planned out worse for that nigga, man. You know? Oh hell yeah, Will Smith. Will Smith. Yeah. yeah. And Willow. Fucking, yeah, Willow, yeah. Willow and fucking yeah. um um Jaden. The boy got the the mother's name, while the girl got the the, the, the father's name, man. Yeah, and, you know? and the, the boy, he's a complete sodomite. That nigga's dressed in it. He got dresses, a flower in his head. He said that nigga uh, Tyler the Creator was his boyfriend. Then the girl, she's more manly than the boy. But they, but that shows you that was a plan for her. They planned that shit for her. All right. That's why, like the brother said, I named my son after the mother. I named my daughter after the son or after the father. So that's why the daughter, she has masculine traits and the son, he has efe uh, uh, the effeminate traits, man. This is what, this is, this is, this, there's no new thing under the sun. They was doing that same shit back in the day, man. You're turning the things upside, upside down. down. Can a brother yeah. get that real quick, man? Isaiah? Because that's exactly what's happening in this society, man. Right, it's Isaiah 29 and 16, I believe. Isaiah, Isaiah 29 and 16. It says, surely you're turning the things upside down. And that's exactly what Esau Edom has done, man. He turned things upside down. In the book of Daniel, it says how he changed laws. He changed times, right? Psalms 82, it says the whole uh, 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 course of the world, uh, the whole course of the world is out of course. I'm roughly paraphrasing it, right? Go ahead. It says, surely you're turning the things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. And that's how we view it, man. They say it shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, man. You know, something, they, uh, something that's clear is worthless, man. And this society and this, 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 this way of life is fucking worthless, man. Go ahead. Or shall the works say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thieves frame say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? And that's what they say, man. With this uh, uh, gender neutrality and, and and changing your 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 gender and all this, you saying that the Most High had no understanding when He created this man. That's what they saying, man. That's the boldness and the arrogance of the of the people of this society, man. And that's why the judgment is going to be so great. In Second Edges, the eighth chapter, it says, "What many great miseries shall be done unto the people that dwell in this world because they have walked in great pride, man." The Lord's going to deal with you people, man, in a harsh way. And we can't wait, man. We pray for that judgment continually, man. You know? We can jump back to where we was. Uh, second Ezra 8, uh, second Ezra 5 and 8. It says, there shall be confusion also. Oh, I was going to say 7. Uh, it says, uh, second Ezra 5 and 7. And the Sodomite the sea shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night. And make a, make a noise in the night, man. You know? <laughs> there are fruits come out at night. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is this Esau's rulership, so this is considered nighttime, man. You know, spiritually, it's darkness, right? It's nighttime, man. And they making a the noise with Biden, with his doing all this, man. Come on, man. And it started with Obama, you know. But anyway, you got it. It says, which many have not known, but they shall all hear the voice thereof. And, and we all hearing it too, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but you got it. It says, verse 8, there shall be a confusion also in many places, and fire shall be off set out again right it's a, a confusion in many places right it's confusion everywhere we can see that this is, that's why it's called football and it says fire shall be sent out off man the different fires that's uh ravaging the west coast the uh, fire that destroyed uh, uh australia right i think they said it was 90 90 percent of wildlife or something like that man do you understand that man like god damn you know it speaks about how the lord will visit the fire and earthquake and tempest you know go ahead it's the second Ezra 5 and, uh, and 8. And there shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be up, set out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places. And that's what we see, man. Different beasts migrating. You know, the, uh, when, when they had the lockdown earlier last year, you had different uh, animals, right, was coming back into the city, man. You know? So, so it, don't, it, it, takes, it, it don't take too long for uh, animals to migrate back, you know? Let's uh, take a week or two weeks of people being locked in a house where it ain't uh, frequently going up and down the street. These animals are going to start coming back in, in, in rows, man. Mm -hmm. And we see it, and we see it, you know? And we, I saw, I was watching uh, I Am Legend last night, you know, and that, that tigers were everywhere. 
you know, <laughs> and, uh, uh, and things like that, man. You know, and, and we saw, uh, I saw a video on Italy that there was a place that wasn't inhabited, and a dolphin started coming back in, man. You know, because yeah. they're, they're animals, man. They gotta eat, so they're gonna come back in these inhabited places, man. Like, uh, I, be I firmly believe the uh, like the zoos, you know, they're gonna be let out loose, man. You know. And, and the city where people, yeah. are, uh, man, that's, yeah. man, watch. Hey, because you got, you got, you, you know, like when it's a famine and shit out here, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers gonna go to them zoos and try to eat the animals, uh, and, you know? But then you got motherfuckers, bro, who uh, are animal lovers. So, 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 so they, yeah, they gonna go let them out. They're starving in this, in this, in this, in this you know, environment. So they gonna go open the gate, let them out and shit, so they can go find food, man. Okay? It's gonna be wild out here, man, you know? Uh, Sharat, chapter 39. Sharat, uh, 39 and 28. There are spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury, they are so strong. And in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. You know, and the Lord's going to pour off his spirit. You know, it, it's going to be hell out here, man. We were talking back when we were talking about the plagues and all these calamities that are coming upon here, man, that's that's one of them right there, you know? But guess what, the elect's gonna be saved out of it. It says uh, that the um, that the Lord should uh, make a leap on the, what is it, the beast? The beast, 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 beast. The what? You know? It's gonna, it's gonna be uh, good for the elect, man, Don't you know? Come go ahead. Everything is going, is going to work with us. Romans 8, 28. Yeah. all things work well. His men, all right. Uh, uh, there, there was people that was mocking his men. So Daniel. the Lord sent bears to slaughter them. Yep. Daniel being thrown in the lion's den, oh, and the lions yep. didn't, didn't cut him, you know. Yep. So the the, uh, the Lord is going. He is control. He's the, he's the father of spirits. <laughs> so every animal has its uh, has a spirit. Okay. He controls those spirits. He controls those animals. So he can have a bird bring us some food. He can have a a, a, a lion, all right, or lions. Yeah. Protect us. Yeah, have a have a whole crowd of lion come fuck mm -hmm. e Esau up, man. You know. And and look at us and walk away. Maul they ass. That, and that's knowing that's all powerful, man. Sharak, what is it, 39? Or Sharak, uh, yeah. 19? 39. Uh, Spirit's created for vengeance. God, uh, there's another one that I was talking about uh, that the Lord's all powerful. You know. I mean, I mean, quotes it. Yeah. God, he's all powerful. And knowing that and having the faith in that, man. You know, that's that's valuable, man. Nobody can take that away, but the Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai, man. That's why you have to do all things to uh, try to obtain it, man. You know? But go ahead on that. Uh, uh, verse 29. Fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. That's it, man. Uh, ancient okay. Egypt, that's what happened, man. But guess what? It's going to happen here as well. You know? It's, it's going to be worse here. Like, you go back to Daniel 12. It's going to be a time like no other, man. You know, you have to the uh, things, right? Keep reading up. Uh, the wild beasts, and scorpions, and serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. Exactly, punishing the wicked, not 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 the elect, man. The wicked, you know. So uh, forty and ten, it says all these are made for the wicked, man. You know. So we we have the faith and the hope that uh, that we're going to be saved out of all these things. Yeah, we're going to be in predicament, you know. But the Lord's going to show His might and show it and show the way out of them. Man. His vengeance ain't on us. It right. says that those things were made for vengeance, man. You know, we're in His grace, so we're, we're not we're not looking to be partakers of His vengeance. So those things won't be applied to us. That's the second Ezra, uh, five and ten and nine. It says, "And salt water shall be found in the sweet." And that's the point right there, right? Because during 70 A.D., here it is, and all the told me it was beforehand, but when it actually happened. Then they were panicking, worried about what to do. So now it was salt waters out there. Now it was false prophets out there. So now they didn't know whether to take heed unto what Yahweh said or what this nigga has said. And what happened? At the end, they didn't have the discernment to know what was right and wrong and what? They got led to their destruction, man. And that's what's gonna happen in these times to come. All the guys that's been playing, right? They know all great deals, so I know the name of Yahweh Shah, yeah, I, I know the R5, yeah, I know these different things. But then when, when you presented with it, you're not going to have that discernment or that faith and that confidence to deny those things, man. So now you've been watching all these different camps. Well, well, these camps did say it was philosophy, and I don't believe in that. So, and then, and then you take it, man. 
You see? So that's what's going to be happening in the, in the times coming. So that's why it's important to get it while it's hot now. Seek you the Lord while he may be found.